Uh, I got a Pixel Doctor Doom out of the mystery bundle, to the surprise of no one. Why not play Hazmat if you're already playing Luke? Because Hazmat's not playable in the games where I don't draw Luke, and I don't want that restriction. Tubos with the 90 months. Good morning, good morning, and welcome back. The Hooglandia OG. <clears throat> Oh, we got an avatar with this bundle too. I think I like my sunspot one better, but that's a that's a pretty good one. Daredevil is not ongoing, it's just an effect that happens. Great, out of the frying pan and into the Thanos. <laughs> Well, that's uh, incredibly unfortunate. We have Blue Marvel to pump up our friends. I guess I guess I'm playing into Stark Tower now, huh? Bro B, thank you for the 24 months. Welcome back. Honestly, I think I'm gonna snap them. They're a Thanos deck. This is bad for them, right? Glad someone asked about Luke, which you told them instantly happened. Yeah, yeah, so the this archetype has a hard time against Soulstone, and you have a hard time against Red Skull. But I'm hoping that Luke can help fix the Soulstone issue, and that uh, Goose and Storm can help fix the Red Skull issue. I don't think Kang is likely to change the metagame that we're playing in. I think there's a good chance that Kang is playable and goes into a variety of decks, but it's not. A, this isn't really a card that like creates decks, right? Like it's not like a build around card, like like some others. <clears throat> tank, 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 play a leech. Yeah, definitely, definitely just play Blue Marvel out, huh? All systems go. Opponent snapped. This is this is where I would play my king if I had one. Play goose to the left and stay. What you got? This is the other thing that Kang does <clears throat> is that now any snaps on the last turn are suddenly any snaps on the last turn are suddenly bluff snaps you have a penalty you have a penalty free snap so snapping on turn six is just a completely different dynamic moving forward now uh, sunspot did not keep the growth though They had to wait long enough for the 
They had to wait long enough for the, the stream to load there. So this line loses to loses to me playing Goose left. But they counted on me changing my play after they kinged. Or they tuned into the stream and saw that we did. We'll never know. <laughs> Frame break. Bo Sox, thank you for the brand new prime. Appreciate it. Mr. KJ ain't afraid of no negative zone check. Call him Mr. Positive, if you would. <clears throat> William Wilson, thank you for the quarter of a year. Welcome back. Now, the real gambit here is... Do I Cerebro the Murray Isle and hope that... Do we Cerebro the Murray Isle and hope that I draw Storm in my next two draws? Stir. Thanks for the prime. Appreciate it. I didn't have the game screen maximized. Good, <clears throat> good catch, Mulster. That should, that should do it. Cool, yeah. It's a fun game. This, deck, this deck's probably not playable. Probably, probably not playable. Most, most decks in Marvel Snap are unplayable at the top level due to Leech at the moment. The long and short of it. Most, most brews I have played, you just can't play a game where your cards are going to have no abilities starting on turns four or five a significant amount of the time. Alright, I have Storm at least, I guess. Thank you for the prime. Appreciate it. To the folks in chat suggesting changes to Leech, I think it would be great if they changed Leech. The only thing you need to realize is, is that if they change Leech as a card, they have to rebalance the entirety of Marvel Snap because there are a lot of fucked up too strong things that Leech keeps in check. 
and Leech is basically a, this is the break class in case of emergency when we don't want to balance our game. Kang isn't on reveal, so I can't, I can't play it here. Do I play it there though? What if I do this here and then it's two power for Red Skull? It's probably worse that I could draw Mystique next turn. Yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do nothing for the turn. This is 16, so we lose the Taskmaster one drop. This is, I would call this a warning shot, but I just banned the first person that do it. This is your reminder that if you're gonna sit here and tell me I shouldn't want my game to be fun, so I shouldn't lament cards like Leech that remove a significant amount of fun for my game, you could fuck off to somewhere else. We play games for fun around here. Victory. So don't, don't tell me that what I'm asking for when I want something that will allow me to have fun is not okay, because my fun is subjective. It's what I want, and if you want something different, that's great, but you don't get to come in here and tell me that I'm wrong for wanting what I want. This isn't an objective thing. It's a personal subjective thing. I can want whatever I want, and you can fuck off out of my channel. Ah, yes, another pixel variant. Oof. Oof. Yeah, that was one. That was our first free king cube. I almost feel like I should keep track today. This is our fourth game, I believe, and we've played against Thanos, Thanos, Shuri, Thanos. For anybody that wants to keep track. What other decks are there? Not, there aren't any other decks at the top level. It's all we, it's all we've got. Hopefully this Hobgoblin gets to slip in right. And then we get to Cerebro next turn. Does Jeff really speak differently than the three other people I talk to on Discord from my mother's basement? Yes. Once you venture out into the big, bold, scary world, you will learn that there are lots of people that talk in lots of different ways other than the three other motherfuckers that you, you interact with in your everyday life. So yes, my inflection and vocal patterns are different than what you are used to.
You can go be new somewhere else now. And the new Mystique variant is sweet. I wish I wish Mystique decks were playable. Uh, I am still largely enjoying Snap, but it definitely feels closer to Magic the Gathering with every patch that they release. We went we went from like <clears throat> we went from a two card format to a three deck format to a two deck format their ba their balance team has been uh more than a little rough Plague these here. And then we'll storm this. Oh, I could have looped into the Murray Alley. You hit the bonus too. Yeah, that's a good shout. Good, good catch. Why sticks? Thanks for the 48 months. Welcome back. Wicked, thank you for the quarter of a year. Mycelium Dad, thank you for the two years. Yes, Luke is in this deck purely to counter Soulstone. Is accurate. Um I just hobgoblin the bar sinister, and then we blue marvel the bar sinister, and we hope that that wins the middle, right? I'm going to lose the Cerebro bonus, but I think that's fine. So then blue marvel here gives us a plus 12 in the middle, which should be good to go. Victory. It is a great hobgoblin split. Yeah, the... The ink splits with the white or black border effects are some of the best. Chat, calling the Kang loop a combo is being too polite and giving too much credit to the abusing assholes that are holding people hostage in the video game. So yes, I have seen people abusing the bro the bugs in the game to create loops and hold their opponents hostage. That is that is something I have seen. But let's let's call a spade a spade and not not let these people off easy like they're doing something novel or interesting.
I, I think everybody doing that should get some sort of short temp ban on their account. Because I, I would wager good money that there's there's words against doing that in the Marvel Snap Terms of Service. Does anybody, anybody else want to pipe up with the zero IQ take that it's no different than any other combo that wins the game? Because I'll ban you too. I've got no, no tolerance for you type of people that are going to defend that type of behavior. Go fuck off to a different Twitch chat where they'll tolerate your kind. How is, how is holding someone hostage different than other combos? Good God. Doesn't, it doesn't win the game, is how. Twitch Twitch chat is definitely Twitch chatting today. People on Reddit are saying it's fair and that you should just retreat. As if I needed another reason to avoid that site. They did nothing? Snap. All right, let's find out if they plan to Enchantress my Onslaught Citadel here, huh? No, today, today's been more common, Quarth. Okay, we are in fact getting Enchantress. This is gonna be a keg into retreat angle with the hazmat here especially. This is, this is again, like, th it's like, Kang is like magic on turn six all over again in this instance. Like, it just gives me so much cube equity. Yeah, it's, it's like turn six magic on steroids in terms of letting me know when I can bail out. Cause it, especially because it lets me snap for free. Is just like actually insane. So you get a chance to push people out, and then when it doesn't push them out, you just get to leave. Opponent snapped. The Hobgoblin Daredevil, I want the Nexus to be a thing. I'm gonna go ahead and store Mojo Worlds, so that way whoever wins the Nexus wins the set. <laughs> well, 
That's the good stuff right there. That's the good stuff right there. Out of here. Victory. Yes, I plan to try Kang and Galactus today. Kang. Kang is go likely good in decks that want to combo and draw specific cards. In fact, part of the reason why Kang is in here is Kang makes us more likely to draw Cerebro. Which is nice. Chat, if you have 20 USD to throw at Marvel Snap, the Mystique Bundle is a very good pickup. In addition to getting the Mystique variant, you also get more than $20 worth of gold. And again, if you didn't know that already, that was covered in my uh, bundle breakdown last month. Check that out for other other info on good things. Ouch. Yeah, the Kang Galactus Thanos deck is probably good. In fact, should we build that? Maybe we should build that. Yes, the rivalry bundle is the one that's going to have the Bishop and Mr. Sinister variants in it. I'm looking forward to that one. And I'm not a huge fan of this Mr. Sinister variant. Yes, if you don't have Mystique and you buy the bundle, you'll be able to play with the variant of Mystique. It is noteworthy, you will still have to open the base version of Mystique from a cache later on. So it doesn't get you Series 3 complete faster, but it does give you earlier access to this card. If you blue Marvel on turn 5, Kang on turn 6, will Mystique pick the blue Marvel ability still? Yep. Yeah, this feels like... This feels like uh, Galactus. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna Goose Dare Devil Center with the snap here. Yeah, get fucked, Buttercup. Oh, oh, this is awkward though, because the Dr. Octopus doesn't go to two now. That's less good for us. Oh, if I would have ordered the other way, Mystique would have copied Goose here. That's a good, that's a good shout. I messed that up. <laughs> and they wouldn't, they wouldn't have been able to Gamora here. Yeah, it's actually a huge deal. I knew, I knew the Dr. Octopus was coming. That's why, that's why I played the Goose here. This, this deck plays that card.
Sorry, taking notes. We're writing some of these down. Anyone in chat been playing the Galactus Thanos list? I would like I would like to try a Kang Galactus Thanos list. So I need a base Galactus Thanos list to move off of. Do I take notes on pen and paper? Do I look like I'm a boomer? No, I have a I have a notepad file open on my I have notepad plus plus open on my left screen. Sorry, for the sake of clarity, please don't post a full deck list in my chat with a code. You can post a link on like staff.fan. Thank you, silence. Death Star. Okay, I've seen some other variations that play Destroyer too. Not a Thanos deck. I need to remember to check if they're a Thanos deck more often. Keep forgetting to do that. Can I snap? Is this good enough? Snap. From Cerebra on the Quantum Realm. Jeff Strikes is a kind of guy I use a fountain pen. No, I am very much a all digital notes. I had I had a resistive touchscreen netbook that I used to take notes with back in college. Very, very much a fan of making the technology work. Oh, this Thanos Galactus deck has Shuri in it. That seems great. The more, the more we can pay to win, the better. Uh, that actually kind of helps us, right? Because now I can brood over here. Yeah. How many collector's tokens do you earn a month when you are Series 3 complete? Uh, somewhere around four, four to 6,000, depending on some other factors. And then, like, with the Token Tuesday deals this month, you get an extra, like, 3,000 on top of that. <clears throat> do I have a soda drink that I prefer? I drink a lot of uh, unsweet and raspberry tea.
Should we should turn one keg, right? Did you recently highlight a Quinjet Zabu Sarah deck? Yeah, that's the collector cost reduction deck up on the YouTube channel. We need to storm the Stark Tower here before it threatens to pump our friends. They already reality stoned. They snapped because they're moving Blue Marvel to Onslaught Citadel? Sure. Yes, we are playing Luke Cage in this deck explicitly so we don't just die to Soulstone. Is is correct. Alright, got two draws at Cerebro. Draw at Cerebro. Now we get to leave for two cubes because we missed on our Cerebro, but we got to try. I'm not sure there's anything more that describes my problem with the average Magic the Gathering player than someone in chat saying, why is the infinite Kang loop a problem? It reminds me of Nexus of Fate. Like, good God, Magic the Gathering players. What is, what is wrong with you? Who hurt you? Who, who hurt you? Nexus of Fate largely celebrated gameplay, right? You know who hurt me, chat? Wakanda Embassy hurt me. What did Nexus of Fate do? Nexus of Fate is a card that was literally banned in multiple Magic the Gathering formats for holding people fucking hostage. <laughs> is, is exactly what it was. left a goose for the middle and then we like peel some cerebros 
I'd have to draw, like, Cerebro Mystique in our next two draws, but also if I draw King, I get a redraw. I'm gonna stay because of the King redraw, Copium. Oh, we got CN Band. Okay, so we're dead. I guess, I guess we're technically winning the right side, he says, before they, uh, they play Doctor Doom. And this is again, just kind of like, it's pretty rough trying to play Bruise in this format because even if you end up being competitive into Thanos and Shuri, which isn't, isn't, isn't easy to do. Like it's tough to be competitive into Thanos and Shuri. And we're like trying to do that with stuff like Luke Cage. You still just get like randomly rinsed by Leech and Sandman. They've really, it really feels like they've restricted themselves into a corner with their designs. This is the most unfun meta. I agree with that. And actually, for what it's worth, in a poll on my YouTube channel, it's got like 10,000 votes in it. People seem to largely agree that they prefer... They preferred Zabu Surfer. And I, I preferred Zabu Surfer too, if I'm being honest. I think this is maybe marginally better than Leech Leader, but it's pretty marginal. So, Z Zabu Surfer... Zabu Surfer was a metagame defined by two cards. This current metagame is a metagame defined by two decks. And I know that those might sound like they are the same thing, but they are very much not the same thing. And what I mean by that to articulate why they're not the same, when the format is defined by two cards and my opponent played Zabu or they played Surfer, I didn't immediately know what else their deck was doing because there were a lot of different ways to build around it. Whereas like in this current format, when my opponent plays a Shuri or they're playing Thanos, I could accurately predict 75 plus percent of their deck. Hey, thanks for the Prime sub, Devo. Appreciate it. Joke said, you opponent, all the cards in my hand suck. I need to draw Mystique here. Never lucky, rubber ducky. All right, friends. Looks like it's time for our ad break. They're going to be a little bit longer this month. Non-subs, I will see you in two minutes. Appreciate everybody hanging out. You're not going to miss any gameplay during the ad break as always. See you, uh, see you on the other side. You know, I don't know if I want to stick with this deck or if I want to try something else. Uh, I've got a couple, a couple of games in here that are maybe fine, but... We're definitely going to play some Galactus Gang, and we're going to play some Thanos Galactus Gang. I need eight more loop cage boosters, so maybe we'll play this until I get some more loop cage boosters. Oh, I have to delete a deck, huh?
Why is the copy code button not working? Weird, the copy code button just doesn't work on this page on the site. Yeah, I agree, Hexa. Leech definitely feels like a magic card. Broke the copy code button. Uh, Kang isn't in the deck list I was trying to copy. I do, however, want Kang to be in our deck here. What are we what are we cutting for Kang? Is Shuri good enough here? Nah, I think she hulks pretty good. Yeah, probably Shuri or Carnage. It's probably Shuri. Oh, I don't have enough boosters to take him to gold, right? We're close though. Three more boosters to make it make him gold. And we'll get those. All right, I'm gonna farm a couple more Luke Cage boosters with the Cerebro deck, and then we'll uh, we'll go from there. a car to happen. Probably not. Wind paid my hand. Just play these here because it's resource efficient. Obviously, Goose isn't doing a whole lot of the flooding. Are they Surfer? Goose into Jug, probably Surfer. It'd be some kind of disruptive deck, but. How do you break it to your late series two friend that they're not gonna get to play with Kang anytime soon? That's actually not true, right? Because you could, um, what's it called? You could, um, once they collect level 500, they get 3,000 tokens and they could spend their gold on the token Tuesday bundles. Victory. And get Kang relatively quickly. 
So assuming it shows up in their shop, it might take a second for it to show up in their shop, but if it shows up in their shop, they can actually get their first 6,000 collector tokens pretty quick this month. The token, the token Tuesday bundle. Bundles give you like 3,000 extra tokens this month. They're a lot. The pro bundle doesn't actually accelerate you that much in terms of tokens. King costing six literally doesn't matter. Lovely. Isn't the pro bundle like two months worth of tokens from caches? No. It's like half a month's worth of tokens from caches. You get about 500 collection levels worth of free-to-play credits a month. Yep. And the pro bundle is about 250 collection levels worth of stuff. Heal before Galactus. We're going to do that a little bit here in a second. Thanks for the third of a year. Turd Ferguson. Thank you for the brand new Prime. Unfortunately, I already snapped here, so I can't Kang and Bluff snap, so I think we're dead. It's actually interesting the equity you lose with when you snap in this deck. <clears throat> Maybe you're supposed to wait to snap till late so you can have that Bluff moment. Okay, so they ended up at 12 and 12. Can we beat 12 and 12? I think we can, right? Because I get to eight on the right. So if I Mystique here and then Mr. Sinister here, I end up at 16 in the middle to their 12. But they're more than that over here, right? So we'll lose. Because I'm only going to be 3, 4. We'll be 4 to 12 and 16 to 12 and 8 to 8. So we lose the breaker. Gage could venture venture forth into the quantum realm. Mm -hmm. 
So, so far, Kang does not feel <sighs> powerful from a what it's doing in the game perspective, but it feels incredibly powerful from a what does this do in terms of cube equity perspective. The way Kang lets you get free snaps at the end of the game and see what your opponent's final plays are, it really feels like Kang has the potential to be the single most important card when it comes to climbing the ladder in Marvel Snap. Moving forward. Scissor, thank you for the 45 buns. My concern is that it's going to be optimal to put Kang in every single deck I play. Is my is my concern. All right, we do this, and then I have one in four to draw Cerebro, and then I'm one in four to get a redraw at Cerebro. Hey, look, chat, it's my redraw at Cerebro. And I just get to snap them here, so there's a chance we chase them out. And even if we don't chase them out, I get a redraw at my card now. And I get to see what their play is. The only reason to not snap with Kang is if you don't have priority and you think they might Cosmo you. But otherwise, yeah, the snap here to try and pressure them out of the game is a free roll. I have priority. I don't have to worry about Cosmo here. All right, one and three to draw Cerebro here. Your Iceman, I guess we're dead. Would we win with Cerebro? Yeah, if I had played Cerebro, I would have 20 versus 27. No, you're right. We still lose, right? Because they have the Ice Man. Yep. Liam's, thank you for the three quarters of a year. What's the dupe? Thanks for the brand new Prime. This is gonna reduce eight cube wins by a lot, right? Yeah, it's gonna be more challenging to climb. Yes, King also makes the game take longer. There's a very, very real downside.
Does Luke counter Quantum Realm? He does. Yeah, he stops Quantum Realm for making my thing smaller too. So we can like Blue Marvel into Quantum Realm and not feel bad about it. So I need to see Valk to counter Shuri next. Yeah, the problem with depending on Valk to counter Shuri is that... Um, the problem with depending on Valk to counter Shuri is that uh, they get to play Arrow. Probably leave if we snap them, so I'm gonna see if they'll, they'll just limp in here. what their deck was doing that is a gold mystique split yeah i got gold on gold on my first one i was willing to split her more than once i have like 700 mystique boosters still because i played that card a lot uh, quality piece of artwork a uh, hot locations last 24 hours now Like Goose instead of Invisible, but because Goose lets you dictate where your opponent's Red Skull gets played, so you can have a chance to play around it. They're committing to this center location pretty hard. I kind of want to storm it. The Central Park makes it a little annoying. Probably a Spectrum deck. Dr. Teeth, thanks for the five months. Welcome back. Scruff McGruffin, thank you for the 40 months. Good morning, good morning. Who would win, chat? Mighty Warrior of the Ocean or Central Park Squirrels? We're unfortunately dying to Spectrum, right? The fact that Titan was here, so they got to have... The fact that Titan let them play Destroyer and... What's his name? What's her name? It's pretty rough. Shame we don't have Kang to snap them. An extra cube to their spectrum. agree with that, Belk. These Kang, Kang and Galactus feel like Chaos Orb and Shaharazad style cards from early Magic the Gathering. Where you're like, yeah, their heart was probably in the right place when they were designing them, but like, 
Can we just like be like, yeah, these probably shouldn't be here and they make the game worse? Dollar short on the storm. Da bump. Da bump, pirate. Thanks for the prime. Have I opened any S5 cards from reserves yet? I have not. But in defense of the system, I've only I've only progressed 9,000 collection levels since they added series four and five cards. I think there's I think there's a good chance that I'll get one eventually. I'm gonna kang on five here and see what they do. Cause I think if they play for the flooding, I wanna hobgob in the middle. Yes, the RNG seed stays the same. So if my opponent goes Lockjaw into Reality Stone again here, it will still be Daily Bugle. It will still be whatever they flipped out. We'll still get a Blue Marvel. So long as they make the same choices, the outcomes are the same. Anchor done here, right? They could make different choices. If they make different choices, the outcomes will be different. Kang also undoes both snaps. That is correct. So I get to see the outcomes and then leave for just one cube. Which again, feels kind of fucked up. My current early read on Kang is if you're looking to climb optimally, every deck you're playing likely wants Kang. We'll see if I still feel that way a week from now, but that's definitely how it feels today. for turns 5 and 6 keg will definitely be something we do later.
Literally all Thanos decks, yes. Every, every single person who has told me the current format feels balanced and reasonable and has deck variety is someone who's not playing at infinite and high MMR. Because infinite and high MMR is the least very powerful step has ever been. Maybe that's not true. Maybe Mr. Negative during the closed beta was less varied. Second, second most limited, maybe. I think Mr. Negative during the closed beta was more restricted than this. The current format is definitely the most restricted the game has been since it released. That is an accurate take. Accurate, accurate, and reasonable take. Oh, that's sad. I wanted the hobgoblin in the middle. Is the opponent playing a green costumes theme deck? They might be actually. Cause there's a Drax here now too. They might be. Can we win this coin flip? Ever lucky rubber ducky. Okay, so this gives us plus 12 in the middle up to 19. Oh, it's probably not enough though, right? We beat Doctor Doom, I guess. Sure. In terms of getting new styles of decks to play, I'm better off getting Thanos than Kang. Yes, Kang, Kang doesn't create any new archetypes. Kang simply gets added to basically every deck in the game. You're just supposed to take your your worst card and replace it with Kang. Ah, yes, Scorpion on Quantum Realm Day. That's clever deck building.
Do I want to turn seven? I don't think I do. Although I, su I suppose Galactusing. I suppose Galactusing has a risk here, huh? I mean, I can't turn six Galactus to win the game. Wordsmith, I don't know what you think this card does. I was going to do this and then retreat when they step. Galactus's trigger doesn't work for him, Smith. If if you play something behind it, F F Y I. What if I cartage the left and then we soak on the rest of the energy and the next turn we like She-Hulk death plus another thing? That seems fine. They get rid of Limbo here, which would be not great for us, but. Can I beat Odin? I don't think we can, right? Null mid beats Odin. Does it? Because I, I tie here. Null goes to 15 and then they're at 13. And then I lose the breaker. <coughs> so Null is plus two in the middle. Or sorry, they're at uh, 12 here, but I still lose the breaker, right? Oh, and Odin pulls with arrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. super good. Escaped. I'm also uncertain how this deck we're currently playing ever beats a leech. Feels like something we're probably not capable of doing. That's the neat part, you don't, you know. Loses to Leech as Marvel Snap dies to Doomblade. If Doomblade was a colorless artifact, yes, that would be the case. I would I would agree with that and cosign it. It's 
called Dismember. Dismember at least costs you some life. <laughs> like, if Leech gave negative power, it could be comparable to Dismember if it had, like, a cost to it. Hey, big man. I hope the mythic variants have uh, some voice lines and stuff in them. I ought to be, I ought to be done. This deck seems like dog trash yet. Like, I don't... <laughs> I know we only played a few games, but like, I can't... As someone who's played a lot of Thanos and played a bit of Galactus, I can't understand why what this deck is doing would be better than trying to play Thanos or Galactus individually. Okay, Marty, help me understand. When am I supposed to play Shuri in this deck? Is she is she purely here for the non non Galactus straws? Like, what's the what's the plan here? You could double death after you Galactus. Okay, sure. So she's like 24 stats. That makes sense. The Shuri into death post Galactus was the line I was missing. Shuri doubling keg is a combo. It's true, you know. Thank you for the 73 months, Andrew. Happy birthday. I, I really wish I would have been counting. I really wish I would have been counting our Thanos opponents. I might have to go back and do it after the stream. Anic anecdotally, today's density of Thanos opponents has been higher than previous days in the week even.
a lot of us just got the token Tuesday bundle and spent it on the one thing worth spending on playing the only deck in this one deck format. Yeah, hon honestly, I talked about that earlier. I think getting these tokens more available is going to rapidly accelerate everybody else on the ladder experiencing what I experienced at the top. And honestly, from a selfish perspective, maybe making the format fucked up for everybody will make Second Dinner realize they need to actually balance their game. And we always want to snap them before we collect us. Ooh, that's a little awkward though. We're only killing six things here. So death actually can't be played in Crimson Cosmos. And Dracula lets them dodge uh, Shang-Chi here. We didn't draw Null. Yeah, I think we're dead. Whenever I play Galactus, Escaped. I could snap in Kang. Yeah, that's true. Oh, I already snapped. I can't snap in Kang. I can't snap in Kang. Which actually makes Kang a little bit weird in this deck, right? Yes, Galactus is both, it's... The current design on Galactus is offensive because it doesn't feel good to play with and it doesn't feel good to lose to. Both, both sides of the, the wheel are... We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna jam this for an hour or so today to see if Kang seems like it's good at it, but in, in general, I find this kind of deck almost as much, almost as less fun to play as it is to play against. Why is Kang good in negative? Can you explain it to me, Burgle? Why do you, why do you think that's the case? The biggest balance issue in Marvel Snap is the fact that the game currently is balanced around Leech needing to exist.
No, we're snapping every time we play King, basically, Ark. It's optimal, and we're gonna do that. So, both of those things are true, Shady Face. Buying Series 3 cards from the token shop loses you tokens, but it also helps you get Series 3 complete faster. And, and honestly, the more that I think about it, the one thing I really don't like about Kang and Thanos and Galactus being permanently Series 5 is that they are literally the only optimal thing to buy from the token shop, which actually makes them more common because gamers love mid-maxing, so they're all going to do the only thing that's efficient to do, which is buy these from the shop. Every purchase from the token shop that is not Kang, Thanos, Galactus, or a variant loses you tokens in the long term because everything else gets cheaper. Kang, Thanos, Galactus are the only optimal things along with variants to buy in the token shop because they are permanently Series 5. And we just got Black Widowed and I don't have an Accelerant so we're just dead again, right? Right on time, Electro. Welcome to the party. Escaped. All right, chat. Time for our ad roll, and I need to hit the bathroom anyways. Non-subs, I'll see you. I'll see you in two minutes. BRB. Marvel Snap's gameplay experience would improve if the client was aware of the contents of players' decks and match based on that. No, not at all. Because that would give players more mirror matches, and most people are of the opinion, myself included, that playing mirror matches is one of the worst experiences in card games. You want to play varieties of games where your deck is different than your opponent's decks under ideal circumstances. Uh, you could play Iceman over King in this deck list. Is what the other person was playing. What the other person was playing this. Uh, we spent the first hour and a half of the stream playing Cerebro 2. It's still pretty awful. Uh, Valkyrie is really terrible in the current Marvel Snap format. She gets shoved in a trash can by Arrow very hard. You should... You should never buy any card from the token shop that you don't want to play with. Anytime you are buying anything from the token shop other than the big bads, you are wasting tokens. So you should only waste tokens if it's for something you would have fun playing games with.
You want an actual hot take about pay to win in games? Every fucking game that's ever existed is basically pay to win. And people need to learn to get good and stop using it as a cop out for why they can't progress up whatever they're progressing up. Every sport you've ever played as a child or as an adult. It's all, it's all the same. Life is, life is pay to win. And for people quoting other games like chess, why don't you come over here and sit on Papa's Jeff la Papa Jeff's lap and let me tell you a little story about privilege and being able to afford to play certain types of games at a high level because your privileged position in life gives you access to resources to invest your time into that game. There was, there was a big, there was this big outcry among the upper middle class white dudes who played Magic the Gathering competitively when Wizards of the Coast invited, uh, gave invites to people that weren't white dudes to events that like the events, the competitiveness was scarred because previously people had to earn their invites to these events. It's like, no, you, you upper middle class motherfuckers. You got your invites to those events because you could afford to spend a thousand dollars two weekends a month flying around the country and the world to play in Grand Prix. That's why, that's why you were where you were. The Hella deck. <laughs> Mistakes were made. Can we also talk about the fact that I am atrocious at drawing an accelerant into a Galactus? We've been playing this deck for 30 minutes. I haven't actually done it once. Escaped. Galactus ties here. Oh, that's funny. It does, doesn't it? LOL. And on Wizards, right? The old pro club status. The pro club status didn't pay for you to travel. It like made up for it a very small amount, but it was still very expensive for hotels and things, Old Menace. All right, I have Electro into Dr. Octopus for the first time during this session. So I can only assume we're never gonna draw Galactus. Now, the good news here is if we draw Kang, Kang is a redraw, is a, is a fun thing to note here. Oh, sorry, I never, I lied. I already have King in my hand. Ignore the idiot behind the curtain. I am Iron Man. All right, one in five to draw Galactus, chat. I can't do it. I can't. I can't do it, chat. We can, we can snap with Kang. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's, uh, that is an... Yes! Victory! 
Kang makes up for me being incredibly fucking unlucky. This card is busted. Thank you, Kang. Oh, Kang. Thank you, Kang. Oh, Kang. <laughs> Praise. Praise be to Keg. Uh, I actually want to Electro Middle, I think. Because I want to Doc Ock not into Clintar. So that way when we Galactus, I want to blow up multiple things to make death cheaper. I think this is the line. Ooh, they also have a null now. Or maybe they don't. Let's see. Oops. And now we get to leave. That's a really good comparison. Kang is basically Gataxian probe. Yeah. Yeah, that's that is an apt summary of why Kang feels problematic. That is from a from a power power level perspective that is exactly exact it, it's a gataxian probe that also sometimes randomly wins you the game so i guess in that way it's kind of like playing death shadow huh I think we have to leave when we get Triskelion. Our hand's just really bad. When they snap us, I should say. Escape. They have Quinjet out too. How is Kang better than having Daredevil? Kang undoes snaps. So you get to... You get to... Um, what was Gata Gataxian Probe was a Magic the Gathering card that lets you pay two life to draw a card and look at your opponent's hand. And it was, is it banned in Legacy? It's banned in Legacy too, right? It was subsequently banned or restricted in almost every Magic format eventually. Just because it's like a real, real lame. Is it restricted in Vintage? It's, ban it's banned in Legacy and Modern. It's restricted in Vintage, right? Yeah, it's restricted. It's restricted everywhere else. Okay, yeah. So, yeah. We finally have all of the cards to do the combo. And there's fucking TVA. When I start playing, I didn't start playing Magic till 01. 
I know I play an angry old man here on television, but I'm actually only 32, so. Oh, I should have snapped back with the keg. I wasn't thinking of that. I totally could have snapped back with the keg. To me. <laughs> Is the bot not working? I think the bot's working. Did it lag out? Maybe it lagged out. You're starting to make me think Marvel Snap has become Phyrexia standard with dismembering Gitaxian Probe Talk. Well, there's no colors in this game, right? So if we're comparing them to magic cards, they mostly gotta be compared to compared to those things, right? You think Kang would work nicely in Sarah Control? Leech would like to have a short talk with you about Sarah Control. And, and Sandman. Yeah, people love playing Sandman too. Is that accurate? Okay. Okay. Can we can we draw Galactus on five after our opponent maxes us? Oh my god, speaking of Sarah control, that's totally what this is, isn't it? Okay, and then we missed, like I always miss, but I have Kang here, so I get to snap them anyways. And honestly, we have Null plus Death, we might still win this game. And they leave, yeah. Victory. This highlight for the YouTube channel is literally just gonna be games of me being incredibly unlucky, but snapping with Kang and people leaving anyways. Which honestly makes this deck a lot better. If you get to fucking snap when you don't have Galactus, but you have Kang, like, <laughs> oh God, oh God. Please bro, I'm begging you. I don't want to go back to Magic the Gathering, bro. Don't make me do it. Marvel Snap has so much potential, bro. Save us. Deliver us. I think the person that said it earlier really hit the nail on the head that Kang and Galactus feel like Shaharazad or Chaos Orb from Magic's original alpha set that are just like these cards that were like really neat and novel, but like once they understood what they wanted their game to be, um, they were just like, no, we're clearly not doing this.
promise you, this happens every time I play this deck. Every time I play this deck, the games go exactly like this. Every time we try and play it. Have we played Galactus even once? I'm not sure that we have. Not not since we switched to this build. Escaped. All right, one of your finest electros, please, deck. Uh, all right, playing against a Thanos deck, unsurprisingly. Is anyone shillionaire? The reason why shillionaire is not a million shillings is because every time someone claims the shillionaire title, the trickle down economy goes to work and it gets easier for everybody else. So the, the number of shillings that shillionaire is away from a million is how many people have claimed shillionaire on the channel. <laughs> There are, there are a handful of people that actually have claimed Shillionaire more than once because the first shilling is the hardest. Silence, 44.8% to number three. God bless. That's true. Hoaglandia's shillings economy is the first trickle-down economy to ever function. Big true. Big true. Trav, Trav, Trav. Thanks for the brand new prep. Appreciate it. Do you think you'd really ever go back and play Magic the Gathering? Nah, probably not. Like, bad Marvel Snap feels like playing Magic the Gathering anyway, so I might as well just play this, right? <laughs> I think we Yondu because it makes the death cheaper. This is cheaper than Magic the Gathering. Um, Marvel Snap is comparable in price to playing Magic Arena. Speaking, speaking as someone who has been a large sea creature in both, it's about it's about two thousand dollars a year to keep up in Marvel Snap and keep up in Arena. Gonna get arrowed to the right. 
Curl up in a ball and cry. You can get any cards you want in Magic. I can get any card I want in Marvel Snap. Sometimes it just takes a day. All right, Keg's got to rewind Galactus here. And we're back. $2,000 a year for Marvel Snap is the about the price it costs to have every single card in Marvel Snap on release day. You can stay Series 4 complete in Marvel Snap for 10 bucks a month as a season pass buyer. I did forget to resnap, that's true. That's true. You don't need most series five cards. Most of the series five cards they release it, they release are niche and bad. Do I think this is the best Galactus deck? This Galactus list was given to me by someone that plays a lot of this archetype. I don't play a lot of this archetype, but I wanted to play it with Kang today, so I went and copied a deck list from someone else with more experience than me. How am I still at rank 100? I'm still at rank 100 because once I hit infinite, I stop snapping and retreating for the most part. I retreat sometimes. I really don't snap that often though. Is wave not meta in Galactus? Wave is worse inside of null Galactus because when you Galactus on four, you typically don't blow many things up, which results in your wave, um, your uh, null being pretty tiny. Shuri plus death gives you 26 stats post Galactus. That's pretty good. <laughs> oh, snap. Which big bad do you like the most of the game? I think Thanos is a couple of very small tweaks away from being a fair and reasonable card. I also think a lot of Thanos' current power level is based around the fact that it's simply the best leech deck and that leech is more problematic than Thanos is. But I would I would like to see a couple of small adjustments to the stones, which tweaks. Like a good tweak to Thanos would be to change space stone to move a card to space stone's location instead of moving a card from space stone's location. This would prevent Thanos from being able to reuse Lockjaw as efficiently as they do. It would also make it so cards like Storm and Spider-Man are meaningful disruption against it. Whereas retreating versus losing. Retreating means you don't let the stakes double that your match is playing for at the top. Unlike other card games, not all ladder matches are worth the same amount of points. And you can increase the stakes kind of like betting in poker in Marvel Snap. Snap. 
Speaking of, let's uh, snap the altar to death here. I agree with Omnath there in chat. Thanos is a well-designed and fun card that currently looks to be overtuned. Galactus and Kang probably need an overhaul to not be miserable. I think that's, I think that's a good take that I agree with. Please don't ask me how I would fix Galactus or other cards chat. My name is Jeff Hoagland and I work here on Twitch.tv streaming video games. I do not work for Second Dinner designing Marvel Snap Cards. I can play Shuri without gaining priority, so let's do that. And then we could be Cheeky and Kang, but they shouldn't have anything that beats us here. And if I Kang, they could Cosmo and then we'd be sad. So we'll just play the 33 power null. Null does not get doubled by Shuri. <clears throat> Kang is not a redraw. Kang only redraws if you play him the turn that you, you drew him. Victory. We lose to Shang. They have priority. We don't lose to shit. One draw at Electro to have our best possible start. We have two draws at Psylocke to have a functional start. Okay, so they're the Valk build of... <clears throat> they're the Valk build of Thanos. Kazar. Kazar is indicative of Valkyrie is the thing to be aware of. Basically, always right to snap and then Kang here, right? Just to uh, see what's up. Maybe, maybe we push them out. Maybe we get information about how we want to play the next turn.
Honestly, I think if Kang just didn't let you snap for free, the card's probably fine. If I'm if I'm being honest. could beat leech here right <sighs> i mean I, I guess i have dr octopus what if i galactus the vibranium mines so i hope to draw vibranium and then we could doc Oc plus a vibranium next turn They, they go down to a total of four power in the middle here. And then I'm going to 16 here, meaning we beat, uh, we beat Thanos. Their Chavez is gone. They have priorities or so beating Valk. Oh, they had they had She-Hulk. To the answer to why didn't I Galactus on the left is because um, if I Galactus on the left, there's a chance that they have priority, meaning we lose to Valkyrie and Shang-Chi. Yeah, we would have tied. We would have beaten any other stone here, right? Because they would have been. We would have been plus three. We beat beat literally any other stone. So it's weird, sleepy cobbler. There's like a some amount of hour window where you have to wait until after it expired to reuse it. That's awkward. Soulstone is another one of the things that, like, that's probably a knob that should be considered being turned inside of the Thanos decks. The fact that it gets, like, four to five points of power and draws a card is a lot. How do you access the filters on untap.gg? They're currently private. They're still working out all of their data stuff. It'll be public soon, hopefully. JD Hall, thank you for the third of a year. I'll come back. It's actually... Just absurd how unlucky we are when we play this deck. Escaped.
L's base power is considered zero. Snap them before we Galactus here. <laughs> Galactus. This is, th this card rune snapping in a way that is completely uninteresting. It, it, this card really hurts what is one of the most interesting mechanics of snap. It cre like, one of the things I've often said over the last year is like, you can't make this binary guide for play patterns to follow on when you're supposed to be snapping, because it's kind of a complicated mechanic, but that's just no longer the case Best with game. Kang. The core game design on Marvel Snap is very good, Bearded Gamer. There's some problematic issues in the middle. But at the at the core, Snap's got a lot of good things going for it. I'm gonna snap before I shuri to try and chase them out. Or snap before, I'm gonna Kang here so it looks like I'm snapping into my shuri to try and chase them out. And before anybody suggests anything silly, like Kang is the good guy because Kang lets us know when we're getting leeched. Kang is not the good guy because he lets us know when we're getting leeched. What we have here is what I like to describe as a Batman situation. There are no good guys. However, there is a billionaire in a cape who beats up the mentally unwell, who you could kind of root for if you're into that sort of thing. But as for, are there any heroes present? Certainly not.
Way to ruin Batman. <laughs> Sorry, folks. Night, thanks for the prime. Welcome back. Or welcome to the stream. Ah, babe. Hey, Bearded, thank you for the prime as well. This is my full time gig, and folks like y'all make that possible. Uh, we should Kang this turn. Because it gives us a redraw, right? Is the free roll here? If you play Kang the turn you draw him, he draws you another card. Where is the DC version of Marvel Snap? So, DC Dual Force is actually currently in development by a company called Cryptozoic. And will be releasing at some point this year in theory. I'll be curious to check that out when it happens. Now, the way things like Lockjaw and other random effects happen with Kang is if my opponent makes the exact same decisions, their RNG will turn out the exact same way. So if they move Lockjaw and play the same two cards in the same order, they'll get the same things. However, if they make different choices, there'll be different outcomes. Yeah, I guess docking them is scary if they're going to be leeching us, huh? Shang-Chi doesn't matter. Leech is the card we care about. Alright, one in four for Mr. Galactus. Never lucky rubber ducky. We kill the devil dino, and then we hope that a giant null wins here. I can also null here proactively and then shake them on the right on the last turn. That gives me 7, 10, and they'll be minus 17. Yeah, okay. It looks like it's time for our next ad break. Uh, I will, I'm gonna play a couple more with this when we get back. I think I need like one more game to post a highlight talking about it. And then we're gonna change to another deck. I think I wanna try and play some Professor X and Daredevil with King. We're gonna be, we're gonna be all King next today. So see you in a, see you in a couple of minutes, not subs. So, what did I put together? I think I want to try something like this. Like a Spectrum Destroyer-esque variation. Maybe this is bad. That Thanos fellow, thank you for the 21 months. Welcome back. I think, I think it could be amusing to like waver electro into turn four professor 
and then Mystique the Professor X on five to try and lock two locations down. Patriot Ultron is not a competitive deck at the top of the Marvel Snap Ladder. I will just get destroyed. Skyo Bag, thank you for the two months. I appreciate that. Will Wolfman, welcome, welcome, welcome back. I do remember the good old days when this was the closest thing to a Magic the Gathering card Marvel Snap Ad. I do. I do remember. Remember, remember. Have you tried slash seen the Quake deck? There is no competitive Quake deck. The monochrome cerebral looks great. Oh, we got this on stream yesterday. This is, this is what, I think this is my favorite card in my collection currently now. The gray, the gray Kirby crackle and the variants even called the gray variant. How fucking perfect is that? It's got the gray Kirby crackle and it's called the gray variant. It's, it's so good. <laughs> I play, I've played a lot of beast shit. This is, this is, this is certainly my Marvel Snap pet card. Live from the Daily Bugle. What's a good deck into the quantum realm? Thanos Lockjaw. <laughs> oh, I wish, I wish. I don't <laughs> oh, snap them before they see what we're doing. We have everything that's good in our hand. All right, I just shouldn't snap people, chat. We finally have a reasonable hand and they left. Sag. All right, no more snapping for content. Unless we're bluff snapping with King. We played Cerebro 2 for like the first hour and a half this morning and it felt bad enough into the Thanos decks that I play into at the top of the ladder here that I just can't feel good about recommending it. We should put that one in the highlights too. You're right. Let's do it. Ideal, ideal gameplay. Oh God. Yeah. Um. Hmm. Snapped. <sighs> I think we're Stig. Yeah, we need, we need to draw a cloak next turn. Is what we what we want to draw. Hey, thought not. Thank you for the almost five and a half years. Welcome back.
Okay, he's sick. We're gonna win Asgard here. That's a massive null. We might win a non-Galactus game here on the back of Alter. Like, they play a couple of things into Alter here too. Death gets really big. They've already played the Reality Stone, so they're not gonna rip that out from under us. We're gonna have 11 energy next turn. Someone stop me if you've heard this one before, but we are in fact Stone Cold Dead to Leech. I can still play death chat. I can still I can still play death. Snap. Why can't I retreat during the animation? Can I? Okay. Nope. Has to play out. Did I break it? I think I broke it, chat. I think I... I think I broke it. I have... I have no interface. I retreated mid animation and we ended up in an alternative timeline where there's no interface. That's rough. That's rough. All right. Yep. Coolio. Let's get this, uh, let's get this relaunched here. Spider Man. Spider Man. Do 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 do. Kang has conquered the game. Yep. Yeah, we're not gonna play much more of this. This archetype is. People, people who sit and play this deck a bunch are built different. I can't, I can't do it. chat I believe our dojo does not contain fear I just want to storm into Jessica Jones me too that's one of my favorite one twos and unfortunately space stone just makes it stone cold unplayable Tuba dies and then I get to draw the cards. <sighs> I would like the record to reflect we didn't need those card draws, but you know, they were nice to have. I felt better about them. We even have priority here. 
kneel before Galactus! Was it good for you, opponent? Because it wasn't good for me either. It was boring and dry, and I can't believe people play this deck and we're done playing it. <laughs> Just, what a awful pile of terrible game design. We win kiln, we could destroy your middle. Oh. <sighs> I think we're dead. Hey, ZXCV. Thank you for the tier two. That's super generous. I appreciate the quarter of a year. Welcome back. Good morning, good morning. Almost afternoon. KYP, thank you for the 44 months. I think we wave into Kang, into Professor X if we're beating whatever they wave into play. Getting, getting the kind of the scoop on what they're about to do before we Professor X seems truly lovely. Pseudo Nim, thank you for the 20 months. Oh, I forgot to snap, damn it. God, they played Dr. Doom in a different spot and got fucked. <laughs> L O L. Do we? I think we're just destroying somewhere, right? I also don't want to have priority this turn. I'm gonna play Claw here. Cause I don't really need extra energy here.
think we're dead. They might, they might outplay themselves here, but yeah, yeah, we're just into that, unfortunately. So we lose the claw. Okay, this might sound crazy, but we'd have won this game if this was Orca. Do I need armor if this is Orca? I don't need armor, right? I can play a different ongoing. He's gone insane. <laughs> uh, I don't know that any of these are better than armor if I'm being honest. I think I want it to be an ongoing one or two. I think armor is probably just ideal. Yeah, we could just play Colossus because it has random utility. I don't, I don't hate that. We could play Luke Cage because it's decent into the feature location. That's actually true. All right, I'm down for Cage. Hell's Kitchen keep flipping up while we have our only What's the call in play? <laughs> this land can never be fully known. They a Galactus deck? Usually Galactus decks don't play Green Goblin and Null. They are, sure. They're playing around you stealing their null. Yeah, exactly. So Cage prevents the Quantum Realm from downgrading us, but it still allows it to upgrade us, which is nice. Same priority here. Just a time stone, okay. 
Why can't? Because I want to know where I'm supposed to Professor X here. Kang. Kang lets me know that this is a play I can make. Yeah, if they're on a blue marble build, they could get us, but Spectrum gives us an out to that as well, so. Also, the people saying Keg was just Daredevil there. That was turn four, Chet. Daredevil is only turn five. We do unfortunately lose two. Blue Marvel here because I didn't draw Spectra, but they also didn't draw that many cards themselves. Yeah, we also lose to Thanos on the left here because Orca's only, only whatever. Actually, Sunspot 7, right? Which puts me to plus 2 here. Okay, this beats this beats Thanos on the left. Oh my gosh, it loses to this by one though. Brutal. Uh, Spectrum would have still lost, right? She was only seven over here. Lizard Sunspot wins. I can't play Lizard and Sunspot. Chat, there's Electrode play. Hey, Nick John. Thank you for the 13 months. Welcome back. I love Oreo. Thank you for the over four years. So, you know, Dim. Appreciate the 20 months. If someone has a lot of free time this afternoon, go back to the start of this VOD for me and count how many Thanos matches I've played out of how many games today. Actually, does my, does the, does the, what's it called? Does the snap.fan tracker tell me that? And the snap.fan tracker tells me that matches. This this has all my matches in it. Does this link work for people? This is all my matches in it, but it doesn't actually classify Thanos appropriately. Which is extra awkward. It feels like you should see more offbeat decks past infinite, but people are sweaty. I mean, it just isn't fun to lose all the time. And as someone who, like, works really hard to try and find things off the beaten path, you are going to lose a lot playing anything not Thanos or Shuri.
Also an anecdote, I just got pull three complete last night, and I just got enough tokens to buy Thanos. Yeah, yeah, the, the token Tuesdays, as good as they're going to be for the game overall, they're also going to make the lack of balance slash balance issues or whatever you want to call it painfully more apparent because everyone is going to have access to the messed up cards a lot faster. Marvel, Marvel Snap's economic model does an all right job of hiding balance issues for a period of time. It's just problematic that they didn't do anything with the time that their economic model bought them, essentially. Under, under ideal circumstances, I think Marvel Snap's economic model would be a great way for them to, like, get ahead of potential issues when they see a small number of people play with a card that's clearly not okay. The Bishop Bounce deck is the most competitive brew I have worked on all season. It is mostly fine. What happened to the audio? <laughs> what? What? Uh... The music got leached. <laughs> the music got leached. <laughs> Jelly Bean Warlock, thank you for the three years. Welcome back. All right, so we're going to gain six total over here up to 24, thanks to Sunspot. And we're going to gain six more in the middle. And we'll see how this shakes out. I think the biggest problem with Thanos Lockjaw is probably Space Stone. I think is the strongest slash most offensive card in the archetype that should be adjusted. Leech too. Leech, Leech is the biggest problem. A significant part of the Thanos deck strength is simply the fact that it is the best Leech deck in Marvel Snap. Past, past Leech, if you told me to point out a different card that needed to be changed, Space Stone would be the card I would tell you I want to see changed. Well, Thanos, congrats on your tokens.
Do I have a replacement for Kang in this deck? This deck is probably terrible even without Kang, or even with Kang, so if you're happy playing a terrible deck, you could replace Kang with anything you want. Follow, follow your heart. Okay, so they might punt the left. Nope, they're not. Wongers. All right, show me what you're doing. <coughs> this might be a spectrum left and a claw middle angle here. I'm hoping spectrum left could win the left and then claw... Claw will win the right along with the Spectrum buff because Claw plus Spectrum puts us to 22 on the Orca path. It's only been 11 Thanos decks out of the last 50 games. 20% is actually lower than I was expecting, honestly. So... Spectrum here puts me to 15, which I think we win most of the time, right? They're adding eight plus two sets of triggers. I already snapped chat. We snapped going into the Daredevil turn. Time to GTFO, chat. Peace. I'm out. Snapshot superhero. Thanks for the quarter of a year. This is a textbook example of why Kang should probably be in every deck moving forward. Kang will make it more efficient for you to climb. Oh my god, wait! Fuck, Professor X won. Oh my god, Professor X won. I was talking and clicking, chat. I was talking and clicking. We could have won with Professor X. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Because this would have been 11, 14. That's fine. Because I don't care about the... We're at zero cubes. The cubes don't matter. But that also shows the opposite side of Kang 2. In addition to cube equity, it also just makes my deck smaller, right? We wouldn't... If, if Kang was a different card... It just lets me lets me play an eleven card deck in a lot of situations. I agree. I think Kang's probably a reasonable balanced card <laughs> if it doesn't reset snaps. It should it should probably not reset snaps.
Jane, J Jane Foster is shit in negative. Just very, very little desire to play Jane Foster in negative. It also doesn't solve the problem that that deck dies to Leech and Sandman, right? Draw, draw more zeros that don't have a text box. Yeah, it's more of a meme than Wong even. Because, like, if you draw Jane after you negative, you wasted one of your negative draws on something that's unplayable, and your opponent gets to know that they should just leave. Like, no, no unreasonable stays in the game if you Jane after you negative. It's incredibly poor equity. It's just, like, every matter. Yeah, it makes it impossible to win more than two cubes. I mathed wrong. We're currently at 30% Thanos decks on the day. Okay. That 30% sounds more realistic than 20% someone said earlier. Jade Foster in negative is like giving your opponent a keg. That's a great take. Love it. This sucks. It's bad, man. What's a good replacement for Orca? You want to replace Marvel Snap Powerhouse Orca in this deck? Oh, my sweet, my sweet summer child. You cannot, one does not simply replace Orca, okay? Snapshot superhero. Thanks for the quarter of year, by the way. Good afternoon. Thanos and Shuri are tier one, but Orca is tier zero. He's tier zero in our hearts, Jet. He's tier zero in our hearts. It puts the leech on the skin or else it gets the hose again. I didn't play the sunspot on one because I was mentally broken and defeated before anybody asks. I just gonna take a mulligan. I need to, I need to refresh. I need to take a. It's it's a. Uh, it's rough out here. It's it's real real rough out here.
Not a Thanos deck, God bless. Mr. Negative? They're not playing Thanos. They played Psylocke. I assume this is a turn four Mr. Negative, or turn three Mr. Negative step. I should probably leave. I'm gonna Professor X Death's Domain, and then I'm gonna Mystique Professor X The Strange Academy, I think. And then I'm gonna soak up the sun. Do, 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 Uh, Blue Marvel gives them plus 8 in the middle, up to 14. My Claw gives us plus 7 up to 13, but we beat the Blue Marvel on the left. We lose if they drew uh, negative Blue Marvel. Oh, you think I should just Orca? Yeah, I guess Orca is better, huh? I was so focused on winning the middle. Because Orca would still give me plus three in the middle, right? Uh, we're beating Ironheart. They can only play one card because we waved. Oh, Claw is nine. You're right. Claw is six plus three. I don't know why I counted seven. I was counting seven because I have seven energy. Yeah, Claw is nine. Okay, we're beating Blue Marvel. I think we're beating most things here. Victory. Yeah. I, I think Orko is maybe still better, but you're right. This is plus nine here. The double professor, I think, is a good, a, a wonderful type of read. Always snap when you play the Kang, chat. <clears throat> Unless you think there's a chance you can get Cosmo. We have priorities, so no chance of that right now.
Okay, so depending on what they do here, we can mystique the vibranium mines and then win it with claw. I assume they're gonna play. The music is a little janky. Oh my god. Oh no, they have priority. Damn it. Fucking arrow from the fun police. All right, it's fine. I'm gonna play Claw and we're gonna draw Orca and win the game. We should mystique the Claw. That might do it. Cause I don't want a Sunspot cause they're a Killmonger deck. I'll stay for Mystique the Claw. Let's do it. Sunspot. Sunspot dies to Killmonger. Yeah, before anybody suggests I play out Lizard, there's an Electro in play. Binary pals, we got him. Ha! Got him. It's just such a travesty that these type of interesting and fun games aren't the aren't the norm because of Shuri and other stuff. Not Thanos, God bless. All right, I really want to draw Electro or Wave next turn so we can Professor X on four. This Twitch stream is pre-recorded in front of a live audience. Thanks everybody for hanging out today. Appreciate you being here. Okay, well, I was gonna, uh, what's it called over here first, but now that they've done this, I think we just do it here, right? Snap. Kang and snap them first, obviously. Because you always snap when you Kang. Why do you snap when you Kang? Because it might make your opponent leave. And Kang undoes the snap. And now... Do I do it left? I kind of want to just lock one of these two and then mystique the path with the sunspot in it. Oh, 
I don't think Mystique the Right ends up with us winning the game, chat. I think we end up losing the tiebreaker here. Because we'll only we'll only have five we'll only have five on the right. Maybe Orca wins it here. Maybe we just die. We just like die to an Iron Man, right? We lose the breaker hard. Ooh, Luke Cage and Spectrum are true. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I like that. I should have stayed. I should we should have mystiqued into see if we draw Luke Cage or Spectrum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good shout. All right, non-subs, I'll see you in two minutes. We're going we're gonna to play some more of this deck. It's been amusing, at least. Probably not good. At least it's been amusing. Heck, Pop, thank you for the three goddamn years. Welcome back. Claw won the game too. Oh yeah, we did have Claw too. Yeah, yeah, that was a bad retreat. I think what Darrow was doing with Kang yesterday was supremely shitty. Holding people hostage because of a bug in the game is a really shitty thing to do. And I hope that Second Dinner gives him and everybody else that's doing that on the ladder a, a, a 24 hour, some kind of short timeout. There's a way you could create an infinite loop with Kang via some convoluted means where the game never ends unless someone retreats. You ba basically just sit there and hold the game in an endless loop. Yeah, they were doing they were doing it to someone on the ladder. Just like, like demonstrating that it's possible like inside of a direct challenge match is one thing, but like doing it to random people on the ladder is really not okay. Yeah, like doing it once or maybe twice, like, oh, we did this, it's neat, but like sitting there until your opponent retreats is like really not reasonable. 73 is the 21st prime number. It is Incendium. Thank you and welcome back. Yeah, right, Gap. <sighs> it's, yeah, it's griefing with a bug is exactly correct. Am I enjoying Kang? I think Kang is deeply problematic. I think the fact that it resets your snap makes snapping kind of uninteresting and dry, and I hope that that changes in the future. Is it a worthwhile token purchase? If they make it so it continues to impact your things the way it impacts currently, I, I would wager almost every deck wants to play. The new card. Uh, okay. I wasn't confident enough going into this play to snap it, but I'm just doing a whole lot of nothing over here, so. Uh, this is actually more than Orca over here, right? It's 11. There are two in the middle.
Yeah, Mystiquing Professor X is something this deck is looking to do in certain situations. I agree that it's toxic, but if you can't laugh at it, you need to lighten up. That's such a weird take. I agree that this thing is shitty to do, but you should be able to laugh at this shitty thing or you need to lighten up. That's, that's, what is wrong with people? Hey, look, they're a Thanos deck. That's the real upside to muting people when we start chat, is we get to double check that they're a Thanos deck. Why does there have to be something wrong with people when facing conflicting opinions? Listen, if I tell you I like chocolate ice cream, and you tell me you like vanilla ice cream, there's nothing wrong with you for having a difference of opinion there. But if you think being shitty to someone is okay, and I tell you that being shitty to someone is not okay, there's something wrong with you if you think that it's okay. Not all things are equal. This let's agree to disagree about things that like matter or be reasonable just like, get out of here. All, all things, all things bad are equal, actually. I am very smart. have a good follow-up to this wave chat. I think we're about to sound of this one. Animated on this claw variant is so good. The blaster being hollow here is is great. to draw um, Kang next turn so we could know where this professor could go to be safe.
Tom Tracy, thank you for 83 months. I appreciate that. Welcome back. One of the OGs. Happy Wednesday. Our dojo does not contain fear here, chat. Uh, doubling keg with moon girl is the next thing on our king to-do list for today. I wanted to electro ramp into him for a little bit. We did Galactus. We're doing electro ramp now. We tried Cerebro 2. Moon girl. Moon girl is next up. They're waving us for next turn. Take a redraw here. Yeah, I, I am loosely hoping on some copium that Keg undoing snaps was an unintentional oversight and is going to change. Fingers, fingers crossed. Yeah, and the other part of that, Dale, and not even just, like, policing what I'm feeling on things, but also, like, the number of people that are like, you need to calm down when I'm just talking. It's like, this is what my voice sounds like. There's nothing, there's nothing upsetting going on here. This is just who I am and how I speak. Okay, so they're going to 14 here. And then they're going to 18, and then they're going to 22. Yeah, I don't think I don't think we could win either of these other sides. Anybody else want to come in into my chat and defend defend abusing a bug? To defend abusing a bug to hold people hostage and waste people's time in the video game. Cause I'm happy to just walk in here and ban you two. Like that's that's a okay. I've got I've got plenty of time and we got plenty of moderators to take out the trash. There are other places you can go on Twitch where that type of shit is welcome. Why would anybody defend intentionally griefing? Because they want to be able to intentionally grief other people later on and not feel like they are in the wrong. They, they want to be shitty to other people later and feel like other people should be on their side and justify it. Thank you for the tier one. Appreciate it. What are we doing here? Am I, what am I like? I'm trying to like think what are my next couple of turns in my head. Like electroing. Ooh, Professor X is a fun one. Can we draw Kang so we get a little info before Professor X? Uh, 
Let's slam this in the middle, I think. We have Claw and Spectrum to help out here if we need it. I don't think I can snap here because they'll leave, but we can totally mystique the Quantum Realm. Quantum Realm beats Shuri, right? Is that accurate? I think Quantum Realm beats Shuri. Ooh, got me. Okay. Now, they could think that they're just winning the tiebreaker because they're at 21, but Spectrum's gonna put stats into here and Spectrum actually stays five here because of Luke Cage. Taskmaster has 14 power on Quantum Realm, really? Why does that work that way? This says after you play a card here, set its power to two. That, that's gotta be a bug, right? Set its base power to two. Oh, does that? So it doesn't impact any modifiers at all? Carnage doesn't go down to two either. Weird. Is this, are there other examples of things setting base power like this? Is this the first one that does that? Yeah, Bass doesn't say base power, I don't think. Here, make me look down. Yeah, so the power of all cards in your hand to three. Valk. I don't think either of these cards reference base power, which could just be a... Yeah, maybe, maybe these are going to be updated to say that. Maybe the set of base power is like a clarity thing they're looking. Oh my God. And this here says set all cards to their original base power. So base power and original base power are different. That, uh, that seems. Okay, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about the edge cases they've created that are different and unique with the new location. Then feels feels weird. Any viable negative decks? N not if you're playing at the top of the ladder. Negative is bad against both Leech and Sandman. And the best deck in the format is a Leech deck. And Sandman's a pretty common, somewhat common fringe deck. I love Mr. Negative. It's one of my favorite kinds of decks to play. It is. It is not... Not competitive right now. You need a lot of RNG with negative. That's not true at all. You should look back on my YouTube channel for some highlights of Mr. Negative in non-hostile formats. Mr. Mr. Negative is quite good and quite consistent, especially with the addition of Bast. Bast, Bast and Valkyrie both do a lot to make that archetype pretty consistent. It's unplayability right now is based purely on the fact that you just don't beat Leech. Remember when people were crying about Mr. Negative? Well, ye with a short memory span on the details. People were rightfully upset about Mr. Negative because Mr. Negative in combination with being able to play magic on turn six was pretty deeply messed up. 
So yes, people were crying about Mr. Negative, but they were accurate and reasonable with their take when you consider what was going on. I know, and I know that nuance and details are not Twitch chat strong suit, but I, they really matter. Yes, negative also used to have four base power is, is accurate as well. But turn, turn, honestly, I think turn six magic was more important to that deck's power level than Mr. Negative having stats. Four original base power. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, snap. This is the way we snap the king. Snap the king. Snap the king. This is the way we snap the king. Do, 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 do. Remember when people complained about something that was bad, and then when it was changed for the better, they didn't complain about it being bad? Yeah, exactly. What a bunch of whiny crybabies. <laughs> yes, reality, reality stone is also bad for negative because it still tries to play magic and reality stone Rex Limbo. Oh, well, I think this is a uh, snap the king, they stay, we retreat angle. Escaped. Yes, if they make the same plays and play the same things in the lockjaw, their lockjaw RNG is the same, and we're not beating arrow there. So we, just, we just get to go. Their lockjaw rolls are the same if they make the same choices. Thanos. Kang or Galactus if you had to pick one. I find Galactus mind-numbingly boring to play. Kang. Kang makes snapping very different in a way that I'm not sure I'm a fan of, but it goes into a lot of things. Galactus. Galactus plays in like exactly one type of deck. Lower ranks, Galactus just wins a lot. Yeah, I'd believe that. Galactus is probably really good until you hit the Thanos bracket. I'd, I'd wager. We're dead to Cerebro 2 here, fam. Maybe Cage into Spectrum wins. Can see that. Because they, they can't play middle. Unless they storm. Fine, Galactus is a pretty good Thanos counter. I mean, it all comes down to how often you're getting... It all comes down to how often you're getting, uh, what's it called? Leeched. The Galactus deck is just bad in the leech. And a lot of the good Thanos decks also play Arrow. It's like they have two cards that shove Galactus in a trash can. Six wins the left. Lose the Cerebro. Cerebro Mystique beats us. Yeah, I'll give them a cube. They're playing Cerebro. They could use the help. Wind, aid my hand. 
close. Earlier I said hi, using one of your channel emotes, I got typed out. Probably a misclick. Yeah, I'd I assume that's a misclick. Beck, do you remember what was happening with that one? If that wasn't a misclick, that's not okay. Sorry, sorry about that either. Either way, clips. It was after someone said, raise your hand to get timed out. <laughs> All right. Well, that sounds like unfortunate timing then. How would I fix Thanos? I would delete Leech from the game and then I would adjust Space Stone. Leech. Leech is the biggest part. Every every time I have a deck that feels somewhat competitive against Thanos, my cards lose all of their text boxes and suddenly I'm not competitive. I think so, Zenwall, but it's also kind of hard to know exactly. The Claw variant is lovely. I have, I have no regrets spending gold on this last night. It finally showed up in my shop. If you're wondering, gee, is this claw variant the reason Jeff is playing this deck for so long today? You're not wrong. All right, Mr. Wong. Okay. <laughs> Play Wong, get snapped, leave game. Got it. Such is light the life of a Wong player. Differentiating turn five and six snaps from cake bluff snaps is gonna be tedious and I hate it. Yep. Yep, I feel you. I feel you big time. way you can tell our deck is bad chat is we keep feeling behind against Cerebro 2. <laughs> it's not a not a good seed.
Orca, don't fail me now. Don't fail me now. Who? Do, 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 he, he. The Daredevil is better than Kang takes really make me feel like people don't understand how to evaluate cards. They're just different. They're different cards that interact in very different ways. Erkadar, thanks for the almost five and a half years. Um, my best guess is that next season, if you are hoping to climb in an efficient manner, you probably need to have Kang in your deck. Seeing, seeing how he impacts the end of game situations, it feels very much like turn six magic felt during the beta and more powerful than that in certain situations as well. Obviously subject to change, early take, etc., etc., but... It does. But uh, Professor X, the right over here, which puts us to eight to their 13. And then Claw puts us to 14 over there. I think you need a deck with more than one win condition. I mean, what do you, like, Kang's not a win condition, so I'm not sure why you're talking about win conditions. Kang. Okay, I don't even think we can here. I think we're just winning the game if we do this, so there's no reason to do anything else. Because my claw stays four power here in the middle. Yeah, yeah, I think if Kang doesn't inter interact with snaps, it's just like a fine card. Yeah, we could get Taskmaster. That's true. Maybe we're supposed to Kang to check for Taskmaster. That's a good take. Five year subs, what do you stream before Marvel Snap? My cha my channel has been partnered on twitch.tv for uh, 90 months. I streamed Magic the Gathering, Hex TCG, Legends of Runeterra, a variety, variety of other other things over the years. I've been streaming here on Twitch for over a decade, and I've been doing it as my job for a little over five years now. Taskmaster doesn't go down to two because templating is wildly inconsistent in Marvel Snap. Someone else mentioned that that would happen earlier, but I wasn't fully prepared for it, and it does in fact work that way for some reason. Hey, what's going on, Vicaroo? Thanks for the third of a year. Welcome back. The fact that Quantum Realm doesn't impact Taskmaster and that it is good with Lockjaw and Thanos Stones feels like a big oof. When you take the two best decks and then put a feature location out that is good for both of them, it's just like, oh.
wave into time stone. Okay, so we're about to get uh, Galactus on the right here then, right? And we'll hopefully draw Professor X off our redraw and King. Oh, it's not. Interesting. No! Arca! All right, I need Professor X to save my boy, Chet. I need, I need Professor X to save my boy. Come on, Keg. Move me to a reality where Orca lives. Live, damn it, live! Oh no. Oh no. He was so young. He had so much to live for. It read the wrong timeline, yep. Got him. I believe. I believe. Save the whales, chat. Save the whales. Let my orca free. No! timeline anymore <sighs> so they like lost to us just passing what a weird line like lost the game to a sunspot soak heard us playing any amount of stats on the right We did save Orca, and that's what matters. Tachyus Taco, thank you for the quarter of a year. Is Orca better than Destroyer? In my heart, he's better than the Destroyer. <coughs> Is Orca better than the Destroyer? Watch the wasp flip into Cosmo and turn my keg off. It's a shame we don't have priority here. Professor X can't stop the lock jump. We are, we are in fact not cleared for takeoff. Clear for takeoff. Nope, not even a little bit. Not even a little bit. 
Are we cleared for takeoff? Okay, so they end up with a Jubilee Giganto here. Plus this gains two. So that's five, six, seven, eight, twenty-two. If I sunspot, I end up at 10, 16. I think we're leaving. King crashes 100% of the time if I daredevil active on that turn. Yeah, that makes sense. Kang is broken after all. I wanted to try and get one more okay game in with this. To post a meme deck with Kang, but... Might be time to move along. Another Thanos player. into the aisle. Let's stack the lizard here for now. Kang, see what they're doing if they want to stay. Thank you for the 45 months. Welcome back. Forklift, thank you for the 40 months. Welcome back. has us winning every location. Stay for a couple extra. Oh, I'm dumb. I counted Sunspot getting two from the Spectrum. I was like, I thought we were winning the left. I counted Sunspot as getting two from the Spectrum. That one's on me. Like it is, thank you for the 39 months. 
If you're someone that's been waiting for your shop to roll over, that just happened. Not that filling the raft does anything for us in our Electro deck. This is a uh, Electro into Professor angle here. Thanks, let's. And then I assume they're going to play hard for here. I'm going to snap into the keg and just confirm that, I think. They can get a different six drop if they fill the raft in a different way, is my understanding. I'm gonna stay, I'm gonna Professor X the left, and then we'll claw the mid, and then we'll win the right. I don't think this is enough to win here, unfortunately. It only puts us at 15 and they have a free six drop, right? We gotta go. Play one more game with this. We're gonna take our ad break and then we'll play something else on the way back. I think we're gonna try uh I wanna try some moon girl. Some moon girl king.
You're late, sir. <sighs> yep. Escaped. Can I share my average live viewers on Twitch? Uh, yeah, it's all public information on the Twitch API. I'll give you a link. So, like, my average viewer count for the last 90 days, excuse me, is, is 2575. All right, non-subs, I'll see you in a couple of minutes. Thanks everybody for hanging out. We're gonna try something else when we get back. For which of these I put gang in? Is it this one? So technically, Ashworld, if the same Series 5 card is the last card of your last rotation and the first card of the next rotation, you could get it twice in a row. It's unlikely, but technically possible under how the system is supposed to work. Now, if you get it three times in a row, that would be, that would be broken. It is very stupid. And the rotations for those things desperately need to change. I do not think Moon Girl is very good inside of Death Wave. I don't think she really solves any problems that Archetype has. for lunch today. Some leftovers from last night. Wind. 
Huh, are we dead here because of the quantum realm with the Crimson Cosmos? Because I can't... I can't She-Hulk on the Cosmos and then Taskmaster the Quantum Realm. I guess I can Shuri here and then I can Arrow here and Taskmaster here and hope that 14's enough to win over here. This is, this is definitely the play to win line. Passing here. <laughs> Does this win the game? If they just soak seven, they go to 15. I'm adding four up to eight plus five takes us to 13, so no. They might also play right, yeah. I'll stay for a cube. I got pixel abomination in my more magic bundle and it seems like some kind of sick joke. Yep. Yep. <laughs> I got a, I got a Dr. Doom pixel if it makes you feel better. I got a hyper-realistic leech that will haunt my dreams. Rough. Want to add 45 seconds to every game of Marvel Snap you play? Play King twice! I have time for your shit, Neil!
wait. Did... Did that Kang draw me a card? Why did that Kang draw me a card? Does Kang draw a card if you're over full? Oh. Oh, that's fucked up. That's... That's fucked up. Hippity hop, the fun don't stop, Jet. Kang brought us to a timeline where Galactus lost. All right. All right. You are far less offensive than this idiot. I'll take it. Well, I think that could stop a bad guy with the Galactus is a good guy with the Kang chat. Weirdly, that's almost comic accurate. Interesting. <laughs> Animated. Yeah, unfortunately, Tian, there's a little bit of a uh, little bit of an overlap, and when your prime expires, I want to let you use it again. It's very annoying. Oh wait, hold on, I have a cash. Ooh, we're about to get another one too. About to get another one too. Mysterio clones. Mysterio clones are a fun one into Quantum Realm. We're just passing here, huh? There's so much good art in this game. Snap and see how hard they go for Asgard here. <sighs> oh, you know, I should probably play this right though, just in case they Cosmo here.
animated jet. Dodged a bullet. Dodged a bullet. We're going up to 11 on the left. Look at how messed up this card is, chat. Look at it. Look at how many cubes this thing just saved me. I really hope they, they undo the snap mechanic part of Keg. It is... Very big, this is not okay energy. They didn't re-snap. So. <laughs> they cosmoed us this time, but they didn't re-snap, so. The alternative here was leaving anyways, so we'll just do that now. Code old. Thank you for the 33 months. Welcome back. Hey, JP Bueno. Thank you for the brand new Prime. Good morning, good morning. I think I'm supposed to play this out in case we draw Moon Girl. Just like Thanos Darkhawk. Oh, you know what? With Viper in my deck. I should have, with Viper in my deck, I should have played the rock to a location that wasn't here. I think I just She-Hulk rather than Moon Girl here because there's a good chance the snap was a Time Stone into Leech. It could be Time Stone into Devil Dino. Kang mess up Taskmaster, or he does not. Stacked over my drink on my desk chat. Oh, that's a that's a big a big oof. This is why you shouldn't have open bottles on the desk. I don't think we hit any critical electronics.
just opened it to. Uh, so we have a Shang-Chi that we know about, so I think we're dead. The death tile is getting to work out. Yeah, it probably deserves a, deserves a timeout after that. Oh, I have to clean that later today. The baby monitor took the worst of it. Are we dead here? I think we're dead here. Arrow right could prevent Shang-Chi. Yeah, maybe. They're probably playing more than one card though, right? We'll spew a cube here. Alrighty. Alright. I know we did an ad roll not too long ago, but I'm going to go ahead and hit one here really quick. So I planted to stream for a little bit more, but I need to go get a roll of paper towels to clean up after my disaster here. So I'm going to hit a slightly longer one while I take care of the fact that I'm an idiot and I'll be back in a couple of minutes. Storm flooded the desk. Yeah, basically. Yeah, apologies for anybody hanging out. I uh, was an idiot, was drinking a bottle of iced tea and went to grab something and knocked it over on my desk. Phone took a little splash damage. I was charging it, looks okay. My baby monitor got soaked, but that's fine. That one's the least important thing. didn't damage my mouse chat. At some point, my MX-510 is going to break. And it'll be a very sad day. Oh. Thing is, old enough to drive. The bad kinds of broken, yep. You know, I don't think I've ever done this before, spilled a drink at my desk. It's usually I just drink water. I brought a tea down with me this morning. Cleaned up the puddle. We need, to, we need Kang to undo the spell. Hey, Kang, I'd like to be in a different timeline, please. All right, I think we're good to go. Apologies about that. I'm 
Well, I had a couple of magic cards I had on my desk. He had sleeves in them. My birds, my birds of paradise. Don't tell the boss. Kang got discarded. Rip. What did they discard? They discarded Shang Chi. It's good for us. Kang and, Kang and Daredevil are just very different cards, I think. It's tough to compare them. Oh, I'm very much aware, Xavier. Pickaxe Ron, thanks for the four months. Yeah, careful with the buttons, Beck. Uh, I guess I'll hood here. It's not great for us either way. Speaking of not great for us. Your chances of pulling a series four card don't change when you get series three complete. Shot, full breakdown on how reserves work here. Living on the edge of the... Well, I only spilled half of it. It was just, like, mostly full when I knocked it over, so we're just finishing it. Do I like this more than the infant? I think it's just... I think the infant up build needs to play... Um magic and i think it's hard to be able to play magic into reality stone can you explain the math behind staying series four complete with just buying the battle pass yeah so there's four new cards per month one of which you get for free from or not for free but you one of which you get from the battle pass and then you get one series four card per month just from collection levels and then you get enough tokens to buy two more. Is the TLDR. Yeah, I mean, they both want Kang, Cam. You get 6,000 tokens per month once your Series 3 complete. Yeah, around that number. 
it varies a little bit depending on like what bundles and stuff are offered. Like this month, you're gonna get like eight to 9,000 tokens, for example. Oh my god, it pulled our arrow and it pulled their their free Chavez. That's so good for us. There's a chance this just wins, right? This is 20 here and 20 here. Yeah, we might even be winning the middle. I, I would bet the real Mysterio is on the left here. The real Mysterio is in one of these two spots. My money's on the left. And it's in the middle. Rip. Wait, what? You just thought you were gonna win with 16 on the right? I guess they just weren't, they weren't, they probably weren't aware of how Taskmaster worked. They, pro they probably just didn't realize how Taskmaster worked. My, re my read on where the real Mysterio was was correct though. So this is the awkward interaction of when Arrow and Juggernaut move cards they don't move uh, the new card doesn't count as being played in the new location yeah also i don't i thought taskmaster would have been i don't understand why taskmaster is neither 2 nor 22 why does it set to 2 and then go to and then go to 20 this this seems bugged this is, this is bugged or the wording is bad. This says Quantum Realm goes to two and then it goes to 20. But Quantum Realm says after you play a card here and it isn't considered until after you play a card until all its effects resolve in every other instance in Marvel Snap. But I don't, I don't, I don't, for the people that are saying shit about timestamps, why is this here telling me that this happens and then this happens? Stop, stop ignoring, like, like fucking ignore the word base chat. Why, why is there this and then this? It's either bad wording or a bug. One of one of the two things needs to change. I would I would wager that's working as intended, but it doesn't, uh, it's far from intuitive. At a, at a minimum, those should be in the other order on the list at the top. Rock the pirate and pickaxe run. Thanks for the resubs. Welcome back. I missed a couple in there when I was cleaning up my mess that I made with my drink. Apologies for that. Uh, our hand's pretty good, especially with the Oscorp Tower flipping up where we played the hood. This is one of the reasons why we play hood to face down locations. We we're playing for keeps. I snap here.
All right, I'm curious to see if Kang draws us a card here. Because last time we we filled our hand with Moon Girl and then Kanged, we drew a card. Oh, I should have snapped. It's, it's always free to snap. No, the Vibranium should leave the deck here. Yeah, huh. I wonder if that's a bug or if it's working as intended. That, that really feels like it could go either way. For reference chat, Kang does not draw you a card in any other instances if it was already in your hand. Double arrow into Titania, and what's it called? Yeah, that's probably a good line. These are like an Arnim Zola, but Zola's not super common in the good builds of. Shuri Red Skull anymore? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can we get the cubes? Come and get them. We're good here, right? Yeah. Okay. Victory. The Taskmaster Shuri part of this build feels so clunky. Okay, I think I'd rather shove Kang. I'm gonna grab, I posted a series three only build of this on the YouTube channel today. And I think that build is better overall. cut from here. Can you win the feature location without damage? I'm not really worried about the feature location gap. I'm just trying to like play games. I know a lot of the decks we've played have been like incidentally okay into the feature location, but is Chavez the trim? Probably. Yeah, you want the chance to draw K on six? That's a good take. Him. <laughs> I 
Hey, get it, Lashley. Yeah, I don't think the Taskmaster Quantum Realm Interaction is a bug so much as the wording is bad. That's my, my expectation. Wind, my hand. Uh... <laughs> I mean, I guess they could have a Juggernaut of their own here, so I'm not going to step them, but... Okay, spot. And you're out of here. Peace. I was gonna get to keg before we did things this turn, but now we could not. Um, that's fine though, right? This like almost assuredly wins the game. It's also a gorgeous right side of the board. The gold borders all look so good together. nerds in chat that are arguing about base power versus not base power and should there be a difference etc no no one reasonable is going to argue with you mechanically that it that it shouldn't work that way Victory. what i am however saying is that intuitively how most people would expect it to work i would wager is not how it currently works so I am not arguing that it is bugged in its current state. I am putting forth my opinion that it would be more intuitive if it worked differently than it's currently intended to work. And that's subjective. Feel free to disagree with my opinion on that topic. But I don't have a lack of understanding of base versus not. I am simply stating the way it works probably isn't ideal. If you want people to look at it and understand what's going to happen most of the time. Yes, 
that alone, the fact that there's been so much discussion about it in general, kind of hammers home the point that maybe it should be different. Being able to snap a Galactus player because they think maybe maybe we're about to get them. I ain't afraid of no ghost turtle assassin. I ain't I ain't afraid of no ghosts. about the card Kang aside, the fact that it adds 30 to 40 seconds to a three minute game feels deeply problematic. I think is my, my big takeaway here. Everything, everything else. The fact, the fact that this card adds you know, 20% more time to the game of Marvel Snap. So does Magic. Uh, an extra turn for Magic uh, is sometimes, sometimes that much time, true. But Magic, Magic's also not contained in every deck, right? And in fact, when she was contained in every deck, they changed her, so that was no longer the case. Same thing, same thing with Daredevil, right? Can't play this here for tiebreakers. We jug the middle, we she hulk left. Is 37 enough to win here? Here's open. we do this <clears throat> and try to I was gonna viper the squirrel but we'll take the chance to viper the hood here obviously I'm supposed to snap here Yeah. 
if I win the 40 percenter, I lock them here and here. We're dead. I think the Galactus Thanos deck is pretty bad. It felt like a worse Thanos and a worse Galactus deck all rolled up into one. Escaped. That's always been the case, Jimmy Pop. The thing that Mystique doesn't copy is when you get Enchantress. If the thing you played previously was destroyed, but still had an ongoing effect when it was destroyed, Mystique could always copy it. It's when you get Enchantress or Rogue that she can't copy it because the thing you played prior no longer has a thing. Snap. We snap Hood and a Viper in this house chat, especially on Karmartage. Victory. Kang Absorbing Man doesn't work. When you Absorbing Man after you Kang, the Kang did never existed because you reset time. You can only Absorbing Man Kang if you like played a Kang and it got Cosmoed. Hey, silence. Thank you for the two months. Welcome back. Opponent is a Thanos deck. We gold border my sunspot eventually. I don't know. I don't love the border flare on this, so maybe. My inks and I have nice border flares on. I'll probably leave inked. Is it possible to play Kang in a negative deck? No, I'm actually pretty certain that they, uh... They take away your ability to play Marvel Snap if you try and put Kang in a negative deck. Just like, this is not okay. They dare you. <laughs> All right, so let's go to Tanya and to Hobgoblin here in the center. Try and lock this up and see where we go from there. It's gonna be snappable, honestly. So the way this works, Titania only tries to jump after your cards fully resolve. So Hobgoblin goes across, no problem. Uh... Hey, Shovelman, thanks for the uh, quarter of a year. Let me do this like 16 over here blue marvel could get us mid yeah that's true it's a good call out they have two stones too for the mind stone so we could get soul stones on one of these sides <laughs> Polaris could grab a ninja as well that's true 
man. Victory. Yeah, this this deck feels a lot better without the without the Shuri stuff in it. Shuri Taskmaster really gums up the works in this deck. Tiny or Tim, thanks for subscribing six months in advance. Good to have you here. I plan to be around. Thanks for keeping me around. Oh, I have Viper the Hood into like Mood Girl, the Demon of the Armor and stuff. I mean, to be fair, Shuri doesn't go in every deck. In fact, one of my kind of complaints about this format that's different from the previous formats we've played is that, like, the issue is that the current format, the good Shuri decks are all pretty much the same. Like, once you, once you tell me Shuri's in your deck, I could probably tell you nine of the other cards you're supposed to be playing or likely are playing. Yeah, there's, there's like one flex slot, which is why a lot of people have like, Jeff, I can't believe you're saying you preferred Zabu Surfer. It's like with Zabu Surfer, I knew, I knew, I, I couldn't tell you what their deck was doing just because of one card. There was so much output range past their card their deck was built around. Zabu, Zabu Surfer was a two card format. This current format is a two deck format. Why do I not play Kang on turn six? See, I'm gonna play this Kang on turn six. Yeah, I, I, I agree, Cam. I think this deck, this deck is one of the better decks into Leech because they like Leech you and then you like play out all of your Titanias and your Sunspots, right? It's like not terrible. Uh, this is plus five and plus two, which puts us to 12 over here. Yeah, we also have a lot of little things that explicitly aren't... Oh, this is negative zone. I'm dumb. I shouldn't have played the sunspot. We have a, we have a lot of little things that uh, you don't mind. You can't get like shang and stuff. Yes, for those that are just joining us here, if my opponent makes the exact same decisions, in this case, Devil Dino into Reality Stone... The RNG from those decisions works out to be exactly the same. Let me get to take a quick peekaboo here at what their uh, final moment is. Ooh, this is actually going to be a... Ha! Huh. If they Magneto, it's a coin flip, right? If they Magneto left, we lose. And this is why the card's very different than Daredevil, right? I saw it on Mind Game Chat, it's a coin flip. Nah, you flip a coin for two cubes every time. Oh, I fucked up. Oh, I fucked up on the Tatani ordering. We lose every time with this ordering. Forgive me. 
We were, we were, I was talking to chat about mind games bullshit. Chat, chat mind gamed me. We, we obviously needed to send a Titania across there. Titania, Titania is a, a brutal mistress when you are not paying attention. She needs all, all focus on her chat. Hey, look, a Thanos deck. Weird. We don't we don't play district X games on this channel chat. That's a fun one. No, the keg, the keg is gone, Chet. Keg is no longer in our deck. So we'll we'll hood here and we'll get something else. Whenever I am Shang Chi-less, I always armor the monster path. Just so they can't shang us. But it's like Patriots, sure. Hey, Bogwai, thanks for the raid. Hope you had a good stream today. Saw you doing some Kang as well. We're currently moon girling some Kangs. The Vibradium, Patriot the Vibradium, it's an interesting choice from them. Copying Viper's not particularly good here, but Extra Demon is nothing to be too sad about. Like a Quinjet into Vibranium Mines, soak on the sunspot, see where we end up at. Uh, Ultron are currently six power, so they'll be 18 into here for 20, uh, 26. It'll be nine into here for 19. So I think, I think we're dead. I can get, uh, we could theoretically get up extra 10 here, but I don't think we can win here or here, right? This game is just Thanos decks at this point. Yeah, at the at the top level Marvel stat meta game is incredibly, incredibly narrow. Yeah, 
Definitely not quite as much variety as we once had. Narrow Thanos is thick AF. That's fair. That's fair. Oh, okay. Well, we need to play Viper over there. Got diffed a little on that one. Use the Sakar here. Because they don't they don't really want to play bigger things into the quantum realm, because most of their bigger things they don't want to get smaller. Deck. That's pretty good. <sighs> Negative overwrites quantum realm. Okay. Sure. No, Quantum Realm is every card you play there the whole game. Again, undoes snaps, so it's just like the freest of rolls to snap here and see if they want to leave. They do. Put another cube in the Kang pile. Yeah, I'm definitely a little bit worried that uh, Kang is going to be necessary for optimal climbing. They're so... There's so much equity in what it does in terms of information at the end of the game. That would be boring. I agree. It would be very boring if all decks were 11 cards plus K. the daily bugle um is this crazy call me baby come into this i think if you make it so kang doesn't undo snaps it's probably just super reasonable It's probably as simple as that. By playing She-Hulk on five, probably not. Just play Polaris in the center for stats. Something that I hate when gamers do, and gamers do this quite frequently, is I hate when they're like, do they even test these cards? Chat, every card game, whether it's Marvel Snap or Hearthstone or Magic the Gathering, has a really dedicated team, and usually an extensive team, of people that are testing for their game. That being said, game design is hard, and it's easy to miss things. And I will never have a problem with game designers taking a shot and missing. In fact, I would go as far as to say that if your game designers aren't missing their shots on occasion, it means they're not really trying to innovate. My problem 
is when game design happens and they miss and then they don't fix their problems, right? Like the issue that reasonable people would have, in my opinion, is there's a problem and they didn't fix the problem within a reasonable amount of time. This is 22 in the middle. That puts us up nine. That might be enough. We could also just like lose to the Dracula. Because it's always infinite. <laughs> I have two cards in hand. It's always infinite. Yes! Sometimes lucky rubber ducky. Victory. What's considered a reasonable amount of time? Faster than they currently balance. I think it is a reasonable criticism and one that I have leveraged plenty of times that they need to be faster on their balance candidates in Marvel Snap. That's, that's a reasonable position to have. In my opinion. Oh yeah, we knew their other card was Ebony Maw from the Bugle, right? So you're good there regardless. Yeah, well, so when people are like, people are often like, okay, Jeff, well then give me a number. What do you think is a reasonable amount of time between balance changes? And it's like, that's not a binary yes, no thing. A reasonable amount of time between changes depends on the changes that they're making, right? Like with the changes we've seen where they just change like one number on a handful of cards are very minimal changes overall, like the Wolverine change, like those type of very small things, those could probably happen every week or every other week. If they want, if they want to balance less frequently, they should probably be slightly more heavy handed than they are now with the once a month changes. Yes, I also think it's uh well what is what does player sentiment look like during these different points is also a reasonable thing to take into consideration. God, these locations suck for us. Although I guess um I guess I can play the zero cost into Crimson Cosmos now, huh? What happens if I do this? This puts me to eleven and it puts them to twelve. Probably can't do that. Quantum Realm is just real bad for our hand here, unfortunately. I could do this. Just like drag these over to here, potentially. And then we can like win this with Juggernaut next turn. It's a world where that works, right? And for reference chat, this is actually one of the reasons why I like this deck right now is that our leech matchup isn't rancid, right? Like, yeah, they leeched me. Here's my... Here's my 22 power. Seven cards in hand. We lose to a 15 power dino in the mid, but other than other than that, we're good. Does Luke Cage undo Quantum Realm? He does, yeah. Uh, we beat that, right? Yeah, 
And we won no matter where that Baku went. Yeah, just a good example of why I like this core. Obviously, She-Hulk isn't good into Leech, but yeah. And if you haven't seen this deck before, it's definitely playable without Kang. I actually posted a highlight of this deck that was one card different. I forget what we cut Kang for offhand, but we, we I had a highlight with this without Kang this morning up on the YouTube channel. This core, core is real good. All right, I need to run to the restroom. Oh yeah, we cut Chavez. Chavez is what we had there. Similar consistency card. I'm going to run to the restroom. I'll be back in two minutes. Thanks for hanging out. I'm going to hit the ad roll while I walk. BRB, don't go anywhere. We're going to play a lot more staff today. I'm not quite used to the longer ad breaks yet. We got a couple of seconds. For everybody hanging out, I have a contract with Twitch to run a minimum number of ads per hour, but I try not to do it over the top of gameplay. I always despise it when I'm watching a Twitch stream and they run adverts over gameplay or in the middle of important thoughts. So I do that in between. So we'll wait until the ad roll finishes before we fire it back up. Thanks everybody for hanging out today. Kang is, uh, Kang is quite the card. Kang is quite the card. Almost enough boosters and gold board. And we need 10 more Viper boosters and 10 more Kang boosters. Oh, wait. I got me into a game? That's weird. Is it 7300 on top of the ad revenue or in place of it? It is a $7,300 guaranteed minimum on the ad revenue for the month. So for context, um, Socio, my one minute of ads per hour was somewhere between like $2,000 and $2,300 for a month. So it scales mostly appropriately as the density increases. Probably don't want to fight over Quantum Realm. Yes, the contract requires that I have to stream 141 hours for the month, which is, which is more than reasonable. I typically do more than that. Yeah, yeah, there's a minimum number of hours, 141 for this contract. Well, that makes our, what's it called? Awkward, our poor moon girl. How many viewers do you have to have to get offered that type of contract? So they offer, you don't have to have that many viewers to be a part of Twitch's ads incentive program, but the amount they offer you for the different incentives varies depending on what your viewer count is. It's based off of like your last few months of metrics. 
So, like, my average viewer count here on Twitch for the last three months is about 2,500 people. So that contract is for having about that many average viewers for the last three months. <sighs> what are we doing here? Part of me just wants to pass, honestly. Her ad roll, no, for the month total. <laughs> her, her ad roll would be like, what, like 50 grand a day? Chad, I'm, I'm comfortably middle class, but I don't, I don't make ninja here, ninja money here streaming card games. Ninja is outdated. I'm a platform boomer chat. What can I say? I've been here for a decade. Ninja fell off hard. Chat, Ninja never needs to work a day for the rest of his life that he doesn't want to work. So his metrics went down because he only streams games he actually wants to play when he actually feels like playing them. Any reason why you don't put more emphasis on donations like other streamers? Because I really don't expect or want anybody to do more than like a $5 subscription a month on my channel. If you're in a good financial position yourself and you like what I do and you want to do a tier two or a tier three sub or like gift a couple of subs on occasion, like that's fine. But like, I would wager a lot of people that, uh, I would wager a lot of people that spend a significant amount of money on a lot of Twitch channels probably aren't in a position to afford to be able to do so. And I don't, I don't really want to push for stuff like that. Like there's a reason like, you'll never see a hype train on my channel, for example. Because hype trains are a form of predatory monetization that encourages people to spend money that they don't have. Like, I, I live in the Midwestern United States, chat. My, my 3,000 square foot house cost me less than $300,000. Like, you know, I make 100 grand a year or so doing what I do here on Twitch. I get to live comfortably. Time to start a hype train. No, they actually just can't start on my channel. I have the feature turned off. Opponent snapped. snapped me, huh? I think I'm staying through the snap. I'm gonna hood. I would click on their Magneto if I could. There we go. I think I'll hood here. We'll soak four in the sun spot. We'll see what they do. I think we're definitely in a good enough spot to stay here through their snap. Is my home two stories with a basement? Yeah, two stories plus a basement. Calm down, Goose. He's not staying. He's a temporary visitor.
The king could have gotten arrow. There's a goose in the middle, so they'd have to like flip the arrow out of this, out of the, out of the lock job. Okay, so. We do this. Do we just assume they're gonna Doctor Doom again? <clears throat> we, I think we do this, right? Because then this ties the, the Doctor Doom here. And then if they go to 15, we're going to 16. And then they're at 20 and we're at 14. No, we lose, right? I think we're dead. I think we gotta go here, unfortunately. Escape. Doesn't the Doom drop to two? No, they should play the Doom here. I know they messed it up last turn, but they should Doom here. And I'd assume, I ass assume they make the right play this time around. Does she help get around Goose? She does, could I have beaten it that way? No, cause Demon plus She-Hulk is only 19 in the middle, right? Yeah, I pay, I pay less than a hundred bucks a month for my gigabit internet. It's lovely. Demon left. That only adds two power to the left. I think we're just leaving here. Jeff got me thinking living in Boston isn't worth it. Yeah, I mean, if you have a job that can allow you to work from like anywhere, I would highly recommend a mid-sized town somewhere in the, somewhere in the United States. Like my, my town's not a small town. We have like over a hundred thousand people that live here. We have a ton of restaurants. things I enjoy. I also don't leave my house terribly much though, so you know, I'm a little biased. <laughs> Spent a lot of money on my house chat, why would I want to leave it? I was with you until you said United States, you're not wrong. I'm in Central Michigan, we built a new 2,500 square foot house for 400,000. Nice. Oh, this hand's definitely good enough to snap, right? Well, then I lose my Kang equity later. It's, I'm not sure. I'm not sure when I'm supposed to be snapping or not with Kang now is something I need to relearn. Like, am I not supposed to snap my strong hand early because of Kang? When did I buy my house? We bought our house right before the prices went crazy. But even once the market went a little nutty, our house was still, houses in my area were still like under 400,000. So we closed. We closed for 285 in like 2019. Like three, three or four years ago. Lazy Gamer, thanks for the two months of Prime. Welcome back.
Do I live out this inside the city limits? I don't actually. My house is like on the edge of town, but like you could drive edge to edge of the town in like 35, 40 minutes. So everything's relatively close. Up, un up until this past summer, my backyard was literally a cornfield. They've since bulldozed half of it to, they've since bulldozed half of it to start putting up houses back there. This is, this is my, this was my backyard from, from last year or two years ago. Might have been two years ago at this point. Like actual, actual literal, literal cornfield. Yeah, the, pat the patio is great. It's big enough. It's big enough for the kids to like ride their bikes around on. No fence. I don't have any pets other than my children, so no real need for a fence. How bad are tornadoes in my area? I believe a tornado came down about an hour south of us a couple years back, but they're they're pretty uncommon where I live. We're not we're not in like what's considered tornado alley or anything like that. Yeah, we're a little bit far north for that. This is a good shell for a stature deck. So I tried stature in a bunch of shells like this and ultimately ended up moving off of playing her. I always forget that distance in the Midwest is communicated in time rather than distance. Well, that's important, right? Like when I, when I grew up in Chicago, it took me 35 to 45 minutes to get to work, but it was only like, you know, 10 miles. I think that gets us. And again, this is kind of, this, this card's just pretty frustrating. It's really bad against the two good decks of the format, but it like randomly shit stomps other brews like what we're playing. Can we beat that? I don't think we can beat that, huh? Because they have the nine over here too. Cards, cards like Sandman really strangle variety in Marvel Snap. Yeah, new new Sandman, I think was uh was a was a mistake. I think I think if Sandman has the same text box he has right now, uh Hit Monkey will just be an unplayable dead on arrival card when it gets here in April. Which is sad, because it's a really sweet design. But there's no there's no way it will be able to keep up with the anti-meta decks playing cards like like that. It's such a fun interactive card. Well, it's not fun, but Sandman is super interactive. You gonna snap down Kang to try and shoot. That's true. I, I need to remember to do that. I appreciate that call out. The snapping, snapping on Kang, Kang cheese is something I need to remember is a reasonable and valid option. I don't know if I want to fight over the center. This might be a mistake. Yes, I agree. I think Killmonger heavily restricts design space. I've, I've talked about this a lot, so people that are, aren't new to the channel, this won't be a surprise to you, but I'm actually of the opinion that a big part of why Arrow is so good in Marvel Snap is because um, 
Arrow is so good in Marvel Snap is because um, of cards like Killmonger existing, just restricting the format so heavily. Arrow, Arrow can kind of get taken to the cleaners by decks that can play to the board, but it's hard to play a deck that plays to the board in a world where Killmonger exists. And, and Galactus too. Galactus has a similar chilling effect to Killmonger. Really, really restricts what people are able to play and feel good about. Shouldn't you just retreat when your deck gets countered? Yeah, you can, but I'm also allowed to say that I don't find that particularly fun or engaging. And if you find it fun and engaging to get completely hard countered and have a 0% chance other than pressing the retreat button, that's fine. You're allowed to enjoy that experience, but I don't enjoy that experience. Okay, so we coin flip for the win here, right? We try to see if we can chase them out with the Kang snap first. I guess we could get Cosmode. Maybe the Kang snap is, maybe I'm not supposed to Kang here because they have priority and can Cosmo be left? So the coin flip here, chat, is going to be that I'm going to Juggernaut DC and I need their thing from DC to kick into Kiln to win us the game. There, therein lies the coin flip. So the flip is Juggernaut needs to put Red Skull into the right spot. What if I, what if I do this and then the red skull kicks into here and gives everything plus four? Then, then I would be nine, 18, 26, 28 only. So this hood makes the Titania jump, and then this Titania makes the Titania jump back. We're coin flipping regardless. Whoa! Well played, well played. By the way, chat, if you're not playing Captain Marvel in your Shuri deck, you should be playing Captain Marvel. And if you haven't seen that before, it means you're not keeping up with the highlights on my YouTube channel. The best build of Shuri, in my opinion, plays this card in large part, not only because of Juggernaut, this card doesn't see a ton of play, but Shuri into Captain Marvel is one of your best ways to counterplay opposing arrows, which is a very common metagame card. Shuri. Shuri into Marvel is incredibly strong. Yes, you could also Shuri into a Captain Marvel and hide her nicely behind a an armor or a Cosmo and then let her fly out after the game is over. What about Shuri into Vision? Captain Marvel is better because of your ability to hide it behind your protection. I need more hood boosters. That's true. It's unfortunate. I think this is like one of the best splits in the game. So I'm just like never gonna split this card again. Yes, that is an example of what I talk about frequently where you think something is a coin flip and you end up being 0%. B 
Beast Bounce gets destroyed by this meta. Have you seen the bounce deck we were playing yesterday and the day before with Darkhawk? I actually think the Darkhawk bounce deck is very competitive. I worked on, worked on that deck a good bit the last couple of weeks. Well, shit. Uh, uh, yeah, I think we just do this, right? I'll oh, snap him too. I think this is actually good for us, huh? Victory. I might play this. So I have a, I have a sixteen-player invitational tournament coming up that decklists are due for in two days. I'm gonna submit the Beast Bounce deck as one of my decks. I might play this for my second. I think Thanos is the best use of your, your tokens. All right, Hawkeye. The only real metagame Hawkeye decks are things trying to add a Warlock. So when they lead Hawkeye and I have a three power thing like this, I should armor the Hawkeye path to stop them from drawing with Adam potentially. Yes, Kang is allowed to be played. Will the tournament be streamed somewhere? I believe Everybody is recording their games and they're post editing it. So we'll we'll see how that goes. It's not there is not a live broadcast, I don't believe. Could they be a human torch bounce deck? Yes, potentially. Uh pull a friend into Wish I had a sunspot here. I'm gonna do this here just in case they're a falcon deck this turn. Just in case, yeah. They're pumping, chat. They're pumping. Welcome to Infinite, where the cubes are made up and the match wins don't matter. Erg, thanks for the brand new prime. Appreciate the support. Lazy Gamer, thank you for the two months. TJ John, or T John, thank you for the third of a year. Halfwit Hitman, thank you for the brand new prime. Couple of from a little bit ago. Sorry, I missed him. Were they the Agatha deck of their booster farming? Yeah, maybe. Squirrels! Yeah, whenever someone's like, it's unfair that infinite players can play people that aren't infinite, I'm like, do you not understand what the average infinite player is like? Like, you can't bluff people that are already infinite because most of us don't care. But like, we spew cubes 
way more than everybody else. Like getting, getting to play into people that are already infinite is just like the freest of wins. <laughs> I can't tell what they're doing. Y Yandu into Scarlet Witch has me a little, a little confused. I think I'm playing the demon out because when I Moon Girl, I want to be able to copy She-Hulk. Okay, so they're a Killmonger deck. Oh, you think they're just playing Scarlet Witch and like Death Wave for the location? Yeah, I'd buy that for a dollar. Oh, I should have played Gang on the right where they can't interact with him. Kang is a pseudo black cat for Moon Girl Redress. He is, Derek, yeah. He video cuts on a properly played Titania. It's largely just don't play her early. Like a lot of people are like, I don't know how to play this card early. And the answer is, well, you don't. You like, she's a turn six play. I'll do it again, I swear. Please make it stop. DJ Kang and his record scratching. Carnage Killmonger Demon. Would you look at that chat? I just get to leave, right? <clears throat> we can't beat either of these locations. I don't want to play into the hood path because I want to be able to viper this cleanly if we draw her. The goose is loose. a decent pickup but actually a little bit sad that I didn't play the demon out we can't know we're gonna draw her though Opponent snapped. Sure. 
Sure. Systems go. Hang them again and see if they switch plays. Nah. All systems go. We will, we will get to confirm that we need to play around. Uh, if we, if we need to, We get to confirm if we're playing around. Uh, Arrow, Arrow and She Hulk or Taskmaster and She Hulk though, which is nice. The snap reversal of bugger design. We're told it's a feature. There's some question on whether or not it should be, though. They can't arrow here. Is is noteworthy. So it put me to 17 to 15. I think this is fine. The, the New York makes this whole turn super funky. interesting things about interesting I mean obnoxious that you could do with this deck is if they expect you to Kang on turn six and you snap them and you know you're in a good position you could just beat them on turn six instead of playing the second Kang right okay Kang with mood girl should be a neat mind fuck for um heads up head excuse me heads up stuff battle mode The Mystique Bundle is an incredible value. You get more than $20 worth of gold, plus the variant in the avatar. Uh, we played Chavez in this deck before we had Kang. And if you want to see this deck play out without Kang, you should check out the highlight on my YouTube channel today. I post a different Marvel Snap deck highlight almost seven days a week there. Is a great resource to find a lot of neat and off meta decks. Oh yeah, it comes with credits too, that's true. 
It's a shame all of the Mystique decks are dog shit in the current metagame. But it is what it is. I mean, them killmongering us there seems like a win for our deck, right? Now, we are dead to wave, right? Is an unfortunate reality. Our deck, our deck is bad against wave and Sandman. Just is what it is. I can't play her because of the geese. Play the armor for tiebreakers. This one could come down to the whether or not they found the hammer. Ha! Uh, feature locations are only 24 hours now, which is which is great. Freeze brood. Oh, did I mess up the Titania? Fuck, I messed up the Titania. No, wait. We messed it up fine? No, we didn't because of the armor counting his plane. Fuck! <sighs> okay, that was on me. That was on me. So, because Arrow exists, we need to make sure we always play Titania as our last card of the turn, not just the last card in her lane because when they get pulled like this, we can lose the game otherwise. So these four cubes are on me. Our deck wins this game. If I sequence properly on the last turn here. Yeah, with my gold border king. Learned, I've learned that lesson a few times. I just flub it while talking occasionally still. Uh, Spider Woman is not contained in any competitive decks in Marvel Snap. Is anything banned in the tournament I'm participating in? There is not. Each player can only play each of the big bads in one of their decks, though. Oh, look, beautiful chat, all inked in gold. I love the I love the aesthetics of everything being relatively uniform. Many times you need to teach yourself this lesson. Too many, too many. Spider Woman needs a rework. No, I think Spider Woman. It's probably a fine card. The metagame is just incredibly narrow right now. <coughs> there are probably plenty of other reasonable, well-balanced formats for Spider Woman sees play as is. Other than only being able to have one of each of the big bads per deck, the other requirement for the deck building restrictions of this event are um you can only, uh, you can only overlap four cards between the two decks. Yeah, it's best of one double elimination. You use one of your decks in the top bracket and your second deck in the bottom bracket. I'm staying.
What are they Psylocking into on turn five? And it's Doc Ock? It could be Leech. They snap me. Leech, Leech doesn't bother me. It could be Doc Ock on the bridge. Yeah. Grab Demon and She-Hulk. I don't know if we could win this game, but we did at least figure out what they were doing. The, pro the problem here is if we lose Baxter building, we lose Rickety Bridge, right? Thanks for the chuckle box. It's got a solid design on it. What are the into the AM designs? Got a bunch of their stuff. They're great. Check them out using my sponsored link. I guess they could also have She-Hulk. But this beats them winning Baxter building, right? Is it better to play out Sunspot on turn five here? So if I played out Sunspot, Sunspot would have gotten Strange academy into the bridge and it would have died. So under, under normal circumstances, I'd play out Sunspot there on five. But because of the rickety bridge and the Strange academy, I didn't. With the rise of Sandman alongside Leech, is Thanos knocked down a peg? No. None of none of the Sandman decks are good against Thanos. The, sand, the Sandman decks aren't really meta decks. They're just fringe decks that beat up on Bruise because Sandman is... Um, I thought it must have just been pumping, huh? They must, have, they must be a new Galactus player. Remember, people just got a bunch of tokens. They, they probably didn't... Re a very common misconception is that you can play a card behind Galactus and it won't count. This is, this is how people thought Galactus worked for a long time before we actually got our hands on it. It's a very easy thing to flub. All right, looks like it's time for our ad break, non-subs. I'll see you in two minutes. Remember, if you want to get around slow mode and not watch adverts on the channel, you can subscribe, especially for free with Twitch Prime. We'll see you in a couple of minutes for some more games. <coughs> Subscribers that are hanging out in chat. Is me taking slightly longer breaks, slightly more frequently detrimental to your viewing experience? Because that's, that's the one thing I was a little apprehensive of with the higher ad density. No, it's not, it's not it's fine. Cool. All right. Not really a noticeable difference. Sweet. Tofi, thank you for the 16 months. Cool. Yeah, gonna be like, I'm sitting here talking for a lot of it too. We're just not playing games for two minutes. Cool. You're mostly in the background and breaks don't bother. Yeah, that's, I, that was my expectation for a lot of people. I just, I just wanted to confirm. Burn Melt, thank you for the third of a year. We get a subscriber only rant during ad break. <laughs> the rant's gotta be uh, organic to be authentic and feel good. Finkel, thanks for the quarter of a year. Send me my check in the mail. <laughs> yes, thanks for the prime. 
you see more subscribers when you do an ad break. I definitely think, especially like prime subs, that ad breaks drive some extra of those too. So it adds revenue in that way as well. I also watch Twitch streams while I cook dinner and clean. If uh, I have a little, there's a little, there's a thin tall counter right behind my sink. So I like often have Twitch on while I'm like doing dishes or prepping dinner. Ad breaks remind me that I should do some work. God bless. I kind of like this double Hulk deck. I think this is... I've always liked this archetype in general, and Kang, Kang feels like a really natural inclusion in here to get a, get a little bit of information. The comment that he also is a way to clean out your hand is nice too. Our ads region specific. They are, yeah. So like some folks got always comment that like I say I'm running an ad and they don't get one. That's because there is an ad space sold for your particular region. Or like I hit a two minute ad break there. If you only saw like 15 or 30 seconds or a minute, that means they didn't have two minutes worth of ads sold for your region. And my, my contract with Twitch is that I just have to run the ad density not that there has to be ads sold for the region that they're running in. Ash Universe, thanks for the third of the year. And Plushy with the two months. Also, I think certain platforms don't get ads. Like I, I watch Twitch on my iPad and I don't, I don't think I've ever seen a Twitch ad on the iOS version of Twitch. Is that a thing? Anybody, anybody at home? Do you see adverts on the iOS version of Twitch? You do. Okay, weird. I'll have to pay attention. Maybe they're maybe they're there and I've I've been missing them. I don't see ads on iOS. Weird. <sighs> Man, our hand is good here. Okay, so I just put Mr. Jugs in the middle and we go to work here, right? We, we actually, we're, they're probably Galactus, so this Juggernaut is game winning. But even if they're not Galactus, I just get to like Juggernaut into Juggernaut here. A lot of the time, this card feels like three mana arrow in this deck. If I had to pick a card in Marvel Snap as most underrated... I think this is it. This is this is a card that does not feel like it gets enough play proportional to its power level. Ooh, that's a good one. Yeah, on iOS, I tell everything that they can't have access to my information. So maybe the fact that I don't give them my location information means they don't have ads to serve to me a lot of the time. That would be cracked. Use a VPN, I do not. <sighs> I thought you didn't like Apple, Jeff. So there is a piece of educational software called Osmo. That's a really good piece of software that we use with the boys. And it only runs on Amazon Fire tablets and iPads. And Amazon Fire tablets have the worst quality hardware that's like ever existed for Android tablets. They're just like cheaper than shit. So rather than buying a cheap tablet like that, uh, we bought an iPad. What's the name of the software? It's called Osmo. For people, for people at home, I'm also not a fan of Windows, but I have 
a number of pieces of streaming software and peripherals that only work on Windows, so I use it for work here. In a, in a former life during undergrad and grad school, I contributed to a number of open source projects, including starting a fork of Ubuntu Linux that's still maintained to this day by a couple of other community members that took it over when I stepped out. Unfortunately, this is not one of our hands that can beat a leech. Alas. Or is it? YOLO. Died of Blue Marvel. Congrats. Close. What's the name of the fork? Uh, Bodhi. B-O-D-H-I. This deck on average has has as good of a leech matchup as you can have since it's able to have like Hood and Titania that don't mind being leeched or Demon and Titania that don't mind being leeched, but sometimes he does get you. It's just how it be. And honestly, Kang makes us a bit better into leech because he can give us a heads up on when we shouldn't be passing on turn five. My current opinion on Kang, after playing with the card for over six hours now, is that every deck is probably a Kang deck, and you should cut your 12th worst card and play Kang. A uh, juggernaut, full time Robert. Do I tutor my kids in math? Uh, I mean, I help my kids with all of their homework. That includes math. Uh, I really don't look at deck lists while I'm streaming, Trolling Panda. Am I going to play Kang in the Bounce Hawk deck? Maybe. I think I'm playing this deck for the tournament, though, so I need to play the Bounce Hawk deck without Kang, so I can only play him in one of the two decks. Would you feel the same way about Kang if he didn't reset the snaps? No. My comment that Kang should be in every deck is basically based entirely on the fact that he resets snaps. That dynamic changes completely if you can't snap for free. school subject that you didn't like or were bad at. Uh, I am monolingual. The only, the only foreign language I ever took during my educational years was Python. You sub with the Prime account through Twitch or the Amazon site? Here on, here on Twitch, Topski. If you're on the, the webpage for my Twitch channel, click the subscribe button. And if you go down to the bottom of the subscribe box, there's a subscribe free with Prime checkbox you can do. Appreciate you taking the time to do that. So Kang is broken. Um, I don't think Kang is too strong from a power level perspective. However, the way Kang interacts with the snapping mechanic in Marvel Snap makes it feel pretty problematic to me.
been playing Thanos for two hours and it's kind of not fun because people just keep leaving when they realize I'm a Thanos deck. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> it's it's funny because it's sad. How does Kang interact with snapping? He resets it. So you basically always just get to snap when you have Kang to play out. All right, you're super solid here. This'll be a skip on turn five, have two She-Hulks, two demons, two Titanias for turn six. He says before getting leeched. He does not reset the snap from earlier turns. He resets the snaps from the turn that he was played on. So you get to snap for free on the turn you're playing King because there's no repercussions. So you get to see if you can bully your opponent out, basically. Because if you can, you win the cube. And if you can't, they just, uh, it gets reset with no penalty. Oh, they can't leech because of Dream Dimension. It's a great shout. Oh gosh, the She-Hulks are free actually. That's great. Okay, so these put me to 12, 21. And it puts them to 17. So I'm beating a blue Marvel over here because I'm at 21. And then we go Demon, Demon, Titania, Sunspot in the middle, soak two for a tiebreaker. Actually, I should Titania here because she's one energy for two power. Order for Arrow. Arrow doesn't matter. They can't move anything. I'm filling all the spots up. Doesn't that tie left? No, I'm adding 18 up to 21. Oh, it does tie the left. You're right. If they have blue Marvel, we tie the left. And then we're 2 to 18 here. And I'm gonna be, oh, we might lose a breaker to Blue Marvel. Fuck, they could move the Lockjaw. Space Stone really needs a goddamn reminder animation. All right, we're good here, but for the love of God, does Space Stone need a reminder animation? pulls randomly but you choose the order that all your cards are flipped up by the way you sequence them out that's an accurate statement is Kang worth a pin? I think Kang's pretty good you know else is pretty good? the sand I actually don't know if I'm supposed to snap a hand like this because Kang changes. Saving my snap as bluff equity with Kang has a lot of value later. I, I genuinely don't know if I'm still supposed to be raising the stakes on these good hands early or if I'm supposed to save them for potential equity with this late. Fuck me. Come on, Viper. God damn it, Viper. All right, well, I'm glad we didn't snap. <laughs> 
Oof. Oof. Escaped. Not like this. I like this deck a lot, Supa. I think this is going to be my second deck for the tournament. I posted a different variation of this deck pre-Kang on my YouTube channel this morning. But this deck just does a lot of the things that I like. You need to understand, chat, when I talk about Sandman being a rancid, miserable card, it's because I have a personal vendetta against it because Sandman fucking sucks the life out of every deck I like playing in Marvel Snap. A human. I'm a human being with an incredible amount of bias, just like the rest of you. Ah, Moon Girl. Easily the best draw on our deck there. Not close. Lovely. Wow, they drew the hammer right away. Ooh, sure he's scary. It's a magic infinite version of double up deck not as good as this one that you're playing. The infinite version has to play magic to work and Limbo is an incredible liability at the top end of the ladder right now because of Reality Stone from Thanos. But I think into the decks of the top of the format, this build is better because you're less soft to Reality Stone. I think if you're not seeing a lot of Thanos, the other build is still fine. Yes, Mr. Negative is also a bad deck right now at the top of the metagame as well because it's a deck that wants to play Magic and also gets fucked by Reality Stone. Isn't it optimal to also Scarlet Witch and see what she flips? That's so huge brain. That is so huge brain. You're completely right. Thanks for calling that out. This is... This is plus 19 over here, right? Up to 28. So we tie if they, if they Doctor Doom somewhere else. They could go to 16 here in the middle. I guess I don't need the demon in the middle, huh? Double Witch never backfires. All right, Wanda. Don't fail me now. Who? Do, 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 do. It's long, bud.
Wanda! God damn it, Wanda! Motherfucker! Puts us a 22. Odin? It's not Odin. Get out of here. Victory. <laughs> God damn it, Wanda. is certainly an esports card chef. Without Viper in sight, I think we just play Hood into the murder world here. If we had Viper in hand already, obviously I'd play at center so we could donate it across, but we just clean it out here. Uh, I think our hand's good enough to stay through a snap. Not absurd, but it's fine. Oh, for fuck's sake. That's so dumb. They snapped and got Quantum Tunnel for their Lockjaw deck. You should buy cards that you want to play with, Jonal. How does a Kang Wanda interact with two Wandas? All randomly generated effects in Marvel Snap happen exactly the same the turn after you Kang, so long as everything else that you do stays the same. Oh, yeah, if we're Kanging, we should put the demon into the tunnel to see what it gives us. That's a good thought. Because then we, then we could do it if that's worth doing. Oh, there's nothing in my deck that I want out of the tunnel, right? Okay, so 20, 20, 22 are the numbers that I need to beat. They are big numbers, yep. I just do this and soak three in the middle. This this beats them if they make the same play. Well, it's a coin flip if they make the same play. We can put the Magneto into the center.
Yeah, it's really sweet, Neil. We're gonna play some more of that later this week for sure. Oh no! You're not allowed to make different choices! Okay, I'll allow, I'll allow those choices. Those choices, those choices are fine. Victory. I am content in which the timeline we have ended up in. Is it goose better in the middle? Oh yeah, you're right. Everything in the deck was worth at least three. That's a good call out. If you have Viper only for Hood, have you thought about an alternative to get more value than Viper? What's an alternative that gets more value than Viper? I still recommend a Luke Cage Valk deck. I don't think there are any competitive Valkyrie decks at the top of Marvel Step right now. She is very bad against Arrow. I actually haven't looked at Keg Variants. I'll have to I'll pull those up and take a peek. You can play Carnage in this deck if you're missing Viper Chat. It's a fine thing to do. I don't have a Kang, so I'm gonna snap them here because we're gonna Moon Girl copy our stuff and then pass and then spew on six. Yeah, we can pull up the Kang variants after this game. That sounds fun. Isn't Thanos Valk one of the best decks? No, the best Thanos decks are not playing Valkyrie. There's a like B tier Thanos deck that's going around that like plays M'Baku and Valkyrie, but it's worse than the other Thanos variations by the metrics and in my anecdotal experience. But like again, it feels a little bit bad that we got leeched, but their arrow is out and I still get to put, what, 15, 21 points of stats into play here? Thanos is better than Shuri. There's, there is a very real chance that as this format develops more, we go from a two deck format to a one deck format where Thanos is considered the only competitive deck. Especially with more people gaining access to um, extra collector's tokens with the bundles that are going up this month, I would bet this format's gonna get more narrow at every level as players at lower MMRs get an influx of collector tokens and are able to buy Thanos or Shuri of their choosing. The economic model that Marvel Snap employs makes it so when something is problematic, it um, is less likely to get propagated quickly. But that being said, if Second Dinner doesn't actually address the issues, they eventually leak down to everywhere. So it's gonna take longer, but it's it's inevitable. I I don't really love any of these chat. This is like fine. I guess this is okay. The King Tut one is fucking weird. <laughs> this is DJ Keg. He does, he does do a little record scratch in his audio. So maybe that's the best one.
Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know that I would pay gold for any of those. We're one decent draw away from wanting to snap with this end. Because <laughs> the rocks, the rocks don't bother us if we get a decent card to double up with Moon Girl. Polaris almost qualifies. Let's see what else we draw. Can all variants be acquired in mystery variants? Or is the Mystique one, for instance, only available for purchase? So far, they have not said officially that you can only get certain variants through purchase, but they also haven't made any of the ones that you can purchase available for free. You also can't get any, all the 1200 gold variants, you cannot get randomly. They are not available inside of caches. Is this uh, Cerebro 2 then? Smells like Cerebro 2. You ever wondering for my thoughts on the current bundles or any future bundles? I always post breakdowns of those on my YouTube channel as soon as they're data mined. You can check those out. were offered this sunspot variant dark dark turkey this this one was in your shop <clears throat> this is this has been the only the only bundled sunspot you get one battle pass point per game for each turn that game lasted and you get 10 battle pass points per game per um you get two battle pass points per game, or ten per game per location you won. Yes, double Kang, you have to Kang on five and Kang on six. Is that correct? If we don't draw a Juggernaut here, we're probably leaving. Oh, we drew Titania, never mind. So Galactus reduces battle pass points. Yes, Galactus hurting your battle pass point equity is another reason to hate him. I don't think I could win the Quantum Realm regardless, Jet, even if we give them the Titania. You had winter variants in the shop for 1200. Yeah, those weren't purchasable though, right? Those were those were ones that uh, you got randomly out of boxes. Non Thanos Quinjet deck. Is there a substitute in this deck for Kang? Yeah, we played American Chavez before in that slot. There's actually a highlight of this deck with America Chavez as opposed to Kang up on the YouTube channel this morning. Remember, you can expect a nice and concise 10 to 20 minute highlight up there, almost seven days a week. Great source to find off-meta Marvel snap decks. How did I already get Kang? 
with hard work, determination, and a giant pile of money. You know, it's honestly tough, Chat. I don't know what's more broken, Adelan or Kang. place American Chavez and all the decks that play her. No, it's definitely not that binary. They do they do different things. So like Kang is a redraw on turns five and six if you draw it exactly then. Whereas American Chavez is um American Chavez is makes your first five turns more consistent. So like the Beast Bounce deck, for example, still wants to play Chavez because you want your early turns to be more consistent. You don't just want to redraw late. But like here, for example, I draw Kang, I get Snap Equity, and I get to redraw another card here. How do you buy cards? I'm confused. I have every card in the game. So I've advanced my collection level to the point where I have everything. And then when a new card releases, it shows up in my shop very quickly because it's the only card. How do I feel about Hazmat right now? Unplayable. Very, very bad. Awful into Shuri. Most decks aren't going wide. The only deck that really goes wide is Thanos, and that deck goes tall as well. It just does everything. Oh yeah, that's true. I should play the demon into the danger room here to see if it dies or not. I should have I should have gone Viper Demon into Danger Room. Or was she two? Maybe I couldn't have done Viper. Yes, you also frequently get leeched before you could hazmat, is the other problem with hazmat. Oh, hey, look at that. I drew Juggernaut. I'm the Juggernaut, bitch. I think they leave if we resnap, right? I don't know how I feel about the resnap after Keg. I O, let's go. I O, let's go. Do 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 do. Oh my God, the Viper might screw us. Oh my God, the Viper might screw us. Okay, we cool. We cool. Whoo! I should have just soaked down the sunspot, chat. I should have just soaked down the sunspot. Victory. Danger, Will Robinson. Danger, danger. All right, chat. It is four o'clock. We had an incredible stream today. I really appreciate everybody that hung out for everything. For people that are new to the channel, I stream full time here on Twitch. You can find me doing Marvel Snap stuff Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. Central until about 4 p.m. Central, like it currently is now. So I'm going to be signing off for the day. 
I plugged my YouTube channel a good bit. Be sure to check that out if you're looking for great daily Marvel Snap content. I try and post my deck highlights there before I go live every morning. So if you're looking for something to watch before I fire up, that's a great place to check out. The best of the best decks that I stream get highlighted there every day of the week. I'm going to go ahead and read Kraken Null. They are also a fellow Marvel Snap uh, Kraken, whale, whatever you want to call it. And they hang out in the stream a lot. Be sure to check them out. It looks like they are also doing some Kang action today. Enjoy the rest of your day wherever you're at, folks. Peace.